uh, okay. Um, let me log into the the Facebook thing again. Um, what well, you did? You judge that off of my Facebook? Huh? What well, you say? You judge that off of my Facebook? We're not judging. I just um because we just became Facebook friends. So uh, when people people been inboxing me about you, but you know, I was asking me like, hey, you see. I was like, I don't know him like that, but you know, because I don't want to just, you know, pop up and be like, hey, you wanna, you know, but but it people, is the male version of what you do, Ashley, but it's right. just him on his page, like speaking his whatever his opinion about it, versus on your page, of course, you have yourself, but you also have the podcast. Like it's really similar, but I think it's good that it's coming together because it's his perspective of his perspective as a man, but it's also our perspective as women. So it, I, I'm it's gonna be interesting. I'm ready. <laughs> Did, were you able to uh check out what we talk about like is that something that you was like oh hell now nah. let me let me they, they need they need this real like was it something that we said that maybe offended you or we got wrong or yeah we don't know what the hell we talking about you say yep, yep ashley which, which which question which which topic was it mm -mm -mm. i want to talk about the ones for the night okay all right oh, oh. All right, let me yeah. copy and paste the question. Are you on your phone? Tasha? Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because you're clicked in on Zoom. I'm, I'm on my laptop, but like I'll usually um, log in on my Facebook too, just to see like Facebook comments. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull up my tablet. But um, you already know Whitney. Um, Courtney is, is down here. And... Kista or Kiki, she uh, she's on here, but she she gonna she's on the phone phone right now, audio. But she when she get the way she can um cut on her video, she can't. But all right, Kista, if you don't want to do your video, that's fine. That's fine. I know you okay, thank you because I look like work. Well, at least you got at least you got a job, girl. I mean, you know, um, it's loading. I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous for some reason. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I'm kind of. <laughs> my, my nerves kick in when I be like, when it's time for me to. I'm um, only nervous because he's on here, and I know like people. Some people will probably be tuning in just to see what he's gonna say, and it's like I don't know what he's gonna say. <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm gonna, oh, go ahead. I gotta. Got uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna try to. You said you're going to try to what? My language. Oh, your language? Um, no, you don't. <laughs> I don't know, because Ashley. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No, you don't. <laughs> I um, mean, good to go. Ashley, Ashley don't control her, so. I mean, <laughs> don't be don't be excessive with it. Yeah, yeah. Know, every, be yeah, what what I don't want is like when you use the J word, I don't want people to be like, see, that's that. I, I don't want nobody looking at this being like, see, that's the type of nigga that I don't. You know, so. You say even, though we, even, even though we all are ourselves, you still kind of have to, and which which that that topic we had, to, it's called managing your blackness, you know, so. You the, the wet word? Um, managing your blackness. You, you don't want to be too, you know, but. No, you said a J word. Yeah, what's the oh, J? The, ju the judging, the judging, you know, people use. Oh, I thought you was about to say, I thought it was a bad word. No, no, but people think judging is, you know, when you say judging, oh, you're judging, people get offended by that. You know how that goes. All right, so let me tag everybody real quick, and then we about to do what we do. Okay. Uh, Ashley. Okay, so uh huh. Ashley, so don't forget though, if I disappear for a minute or something, it's probably no signal, and my husband probably called me. Okay, okay, Keisha. You said your husband. Your, no, okay, it went from. <laughs> okay, you know what? This ain't the show. Okay. After, okay. after show. We, after show. Y'all, y'all, y'all hit me up in message. Uh, we can discuss all that later. We shouldn't. We shouldn't have to do all that, man. Okay, get us. It's different. It's different play. It's a little bit more weak. <laughs> it's the back to Ashley. Oh yeah, it is. It's, it's wow. gone. Let me know when it pop up on y'all end, because you know mine is always slow. Hello, hello, hey, hello, hello. 
I suddenly got Erica Badu vibes. Okay. I don't know, all of a sudden, yeah, meaning is not it's, it's up there. It's up there, but you can't see like he's still on the phone. So okay, um, that's fine. I don't see anything. I have it on mine. Oh, going ahead. Let me just go to Ashley's page. Oh, I see it. Why are they, they popped up on my tablet yet? I had to go to my Facebook and go to my notifications. Okay. Okay, I see it. Yeah, like even now, um, yeah. I only see three people though. I see one. Oh well, I see one now. But that's because oh. he turned his he turned his picture off. It's gonna come back. Oh, and it's lagging a little bit. I got eleven. I got twelve so far on my own. Okay, yeah, it's it's on. They both really got me. Well, you you, you okay. seconds ago. I ain't not a little outside. Come on, back in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me pull up the questions. <laughs> Why everybody been saying that? Like, hit me up, like, oh, snap, they got you on the show like that. <laughs> I'm like, dang, boy, y'all look at me like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, let's uh, let's pretty much start because you know, uh. He's the got choir rehearsal. But um, all right, so um <laughs> all right, so hi everyone. I'm Ashley Monique, owner of Ashley Jimmy Tummy. Make sure you go like my business page, uh Ashley Jimmy Tummy Catering on Facebook. Make sure you go like the I've noticed podcast uh page on Facebook. You can go to my website, order sauces and other things that will be uploaded uh pretty soon. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Ashley Monique843. You can follow me on YouTube, which is if you don't catch this live, live, you can go on YouTube as well. Ashley's Jimmy Tummy or whatnot. But um, we have a special guest here tonight. Um, highly anticipated. Yes. Uh <laughs> highly anticipated. Um, but not for the reasons that you may think, you know. Um, <laughs> but on some uh, you know, some toned down romantic, uh, you know man woman type of, of vibes you know yes uh so would you like to introduce yourself and where they can also follow you if they don't follow you are in the capacity of wh what you're doing now you know um i'm sean page they probably know me in swamp but uh you can find me on uh facebook sean page uh ig swamp 12 or twitter swamp 843 um, or check me out on YouTube doing my battle rap or uh, music or whatever it could be, though. Appreciate y'all for having me, though. Perfect, perfect. My Thank other, you. uh, Courtney Whitney, you guys like to throw out your, uh, where they can follow y'all fine selves at? Not fine. <laughs> baby. Fine, baby. You can I think I'm good. My, my Instagram ain't really lit like that. And... <laughs> Yeah, everybody that I want to be tuned into my life on Facebook, I'm already friends with. So, but y'all okay. can follow my blog site though. It's the Polish Gym underscore. All right. Miss yeah, uh, my Instagram ain't popping either, but full court f u l l c o r t. And then we also have uh, a phone in co-host, uh, Miss Kiki. Um, her information will be posted uh in the link as well once this is uploaded. All right, so um. Let's get into this. This is um the I've noticed podcast is just based off of things that uh me, what I've noticed, you know, throughout my single journey, my successfully single journey and um my entrepreneurial hustle, uh dating during this uh COVID situation and just you know trying to get my shit together, you know, pretty much like we all are. Um all right, so we have uh five questions. We're gonna try to get to those five questions. But if not, then it'll be a follow-up uh, on the next one. But uh, we're going to go straight into it. Okay, so uh, the first question that we have is, what is dating? Like, what is your definition of dating? And um, are, if, you, if, you're, if you're currently doing that, are you dating with a purpose? Or meaning, like, you want it to lead somewhere? Uh, 
the end goal usually is always marriage and a family. Um, or are you the meme that's floating around? I don't know if y'all saw the meme, but where they say like us women, like we're just dating because we're hungry. Like a guy that we may not even be interested in. We don't like him. We're not attracted to him. His personality is no, but he like us. He got a little bit of, of money and he want to feed us, you know? Um, so we just go just to go, just, just to, uh, you know, fulfill time and fulfill our stomachs, you know? Um, so what is dating? Are you dating with a purpose? And if not, are you the mean? Are you the, you know, the guy or the girl that is just going because you bored, they gonna pay and you was hungry anyway. So fuck it. <laughs> you like to start. I think first and foremost, a lot of y'all women got the definition of dating. Okay, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now when you say <laughs> what do you take to the <laughs> I already, know, I already know that part coming, but I, I don't mind. No, I just, okay, no, I'm sorry. I know, I know, I, this, this wasn't not to even to be rude. I was just going to say, like, just say women. Don't say y'all women. Just say women. Right, right. Well, well, you know, we're in the South, so y'all is just everybody. That's just a, a, a right, right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If the shoe don't fit, <laughs> I think. A lot of women got the definition of dating screwed up. Okay. And even if it's not screwed up, then why isn't it allowed the same way for men? <clears throat> I say that because women think dating is, I can talk to Joe, Jack, Chris, and David, date them all at one time, to see who's the best contender and then just pick one and go from there. Meanwhile, like, dating is putting somewhat of a label on something, in a sense. Because, like, when you say I'm dating that person, you don't even got to discuss anything beyond that, to be real, because if it's nothing, it's nothing. Y'all know when you're cool and chilling or whatever the case may be, but when you say, all right, we dating, that's you saying, all right, I want to take time out with this person and see more than just the BS that we own type job. I want to see, like, what's up with them, the mental whoop the whoop spend time and, you know, really look into that situation. But when you're doing that with five people, that's the point of now where you like David because he good at changing oil. Chris can get you something to eat. Doggone old buddy can actually got a listening ear. He don't mind shutting up and letting you run your mouth about who and who at work or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Right. You to the point where nobody's getting there really that all of you or that one-on-one -on -one time to study you. Now, it could be as simple and different for a man. Like I keep saying, okay, imagine if I came up to you, Ashley, you at the bar and I come up to you. How you doing? Mm -hmm. My name's Swamp. Whoop, 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 whoop. We exchange numbers. I go over two people and go to witness. And say, hey, how you doing? My name's Swamp, such and such. You can front and fake or maybe say you not now, but you're going to look at me like this nigga was just in my face. I do. As <laughs> I do. And then, but, you know, honestly, at that bar, I'm going I'm to come up to you. I'm going to be like, here you go, baby. Get your number, baby. This, this, this is the paper that you wrote your number on, so I don't need that. Messed but up, I, though, I get what you're saying. Today, though. Like, that's messed up. A dude can't do that. Then, like, I can't say I'm still cool with one of my baby mamas or I'm cool with a friend from the past or I can't take them out to eat and then pull up on you and be like, hey, yeah, I'm single or whatever. But I took old girl out last night. That's going to stop everything that I'm, I'm, I'm still out there searching for because a woman want your undivided attention. To be told, it takes that even when it comes to dating because that's the time in the trial period for you to really learn a person, man, before you get into that relationship jump, because that's a different ball game. If you take it seriously, I learned from trial and error, bumping my head, you know what I'm saying? I fuck up a lot. It was a point like, I wouldn't ask, you know what I'm saying? So like, you know the karma would come with it and all that, but like, no, that's not dating, talking to five people and just choosing one like, okay, like it's a tryout for junior varsity basketball or something. <laughs> no, not getting your all. Then on top of me not getting your all, you know how women built these days. I got to protect my peace. That's how a lot of y'all is. 
Wait a minute. So I, you're, I, you're I, saying you're saying that we say we have to protect our peace. Or are you saying that that's the mind frame that you're that's in? Black, currently? So that's the mind frame of a lot of women. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna tell you this: if I'm in a relationship with you, don't give me that, because truth be told, like if it's where it's supposed to be, you are gonna be my peace. If I can only rattle you to the point where you still got that that force feel around you, where things is hectic, but you're not gonna interrupt my peace in a sense. No. My peace is interrupted when things is going on with us because that's a it, it's an open barrier. Everything open. The mindset is like always like a game of breaking down levels with women these days. It is, but you but do you understand why though? Because I, the reason why I, I want to pause you there, and I because I, I really want you to understand why that we have this guard, we got this force field, this invisible bullshit wall that we have. Do you realize that maybe like two three minutes ago you said, "I want shit." So we're still fucked up from your ain't shit ways, you know? So you got to get, when you meet us, you got to, and you see that, oh, she, this going to be a little peep. This, she, we damaged. We still fucked up. Like, just because you got your shit together now, we still fucked up from when you fucked us over, you know? So can you kind of, like, understand that a little bit and take time with us and help us heal? But it, and it's your bit. life. You don't have to do that. No, you can say, I ain't with that right now. A little bit. But I know what I'm not going to be able to do. I can't right, come. Right. To, I can't come to you and say, "Listen, the last few women I've been with wasn't worth a doggone thing. They was only chasing money, clout mm -hmm. chasing. Whoop, 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 whoop. You're going to stop me long before that process. Say, look, I'm not none of them. I'm Absolutely. not going to treat you as such. Right. Neither am I going to be able to set up my own basic training in a sense to make sure <laughs> you qualify when it comes. I'm going to have to throw all that out the window. I can't bring that against you. You're not going to allow that. But just because Lil Pookie and Lil Tay Tay would, you know what I'm saying, did whatever, I got to go through all of this before I even get any reaction or some of the things that I may look for in a woman from you. Right, right. That ain't cool. Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Well, I have two questions, actually. But do you count dating as exclusive? Like, if you say you're dating someone, are y'all exclusive? That's a good uh, question, Courtney. Bruh. Because you, because you keep saying that you can't date multiple people, which I'm correlating that because you said earlier that you can't be dating five different people and still get to know somebody one on one. Which I kind of disagree with because I don't see how like that's if you're a different person with each of, each of those people. So I don't see yeah. how you can't get to know multiple people. And also at the same time, women we're great multitaskers, right? So, and a lot so of keep so keep that in mind, right? And a lot of guys don't play dating as exclusive. And and I'm not we're not giving you excuses. We're giving you real nigga shit, like nah, bro, nah. Right? Nah. Listen, like listen though, like let, let me say this. So my thing is like when you said when you started with dating, like I feel like there's a difference when you say you're dating and when you're dating someone. Yeah. So I feel like when you're dating, you're Where saying that. What? <laughs> Listen, when you're when you're just dating, I feel like when the, the act of dating. So like the act of dating is when you are getting to know somebody more so on a social level and getting to know more about that okay. person. So there's a difference in I'm dating and I'm dating someone. No, I I'm think, saying there's I'm saying I, there's I think what it is is at this point everything is like what we grew up on ain't ain't what it it, it is right now. So I think every individual, because uh, Courtney and Kiki know that I, I I wasn't real big on titles. Like, don't put that shit on. Like, the only title I want is boss. But anyway, you know, I don't care about titles, but, you know, I'm maturing now. You know, words mean things, pretty much. So I think with your definition of you just got to do it right, right. It's your book. It's your story. You got to write it. So if you know a lot of women um have a roster like you said tryouts which honestly it is to be it, it that's exactly what it is so I, I i'm comfortable with that I, i'm not gonna argue with you with that um but i think you just gotta say look um, i'm swamped this is what like if you're dating multiple men at the same time that's not for me but when yeah. you're ready to uh to, to just focus on one man which is me then you can inbox me. You can, you can, I can book a schedule with you. You know, I, if I got time, I'll call you back, you know, but until then, that ain't for me, sweetheart, you know? Yeah. So I think that's how you should do it. Cause a lot of women now we are, myself included, we are multi-dating. It's a process yeah. of elimination. And honestly with me, I don't have to tell a man, you, you didn't make the cut. 
because they <laughs> lie so much. They ain't, they ain't where you at right now. They ain't over it. They, they ain't at that mental space. They still full of shit. You know, I don't want to use the hashtag, hashtag men ain't shit because that don't apply to all of them. Just 99.9% of them, you know, but Jeez, Christ, oh, we, we, we can go there. But you used to be that. So you are a reformed ain't shit nigga. You do realize that. You ain't, you ain't that no more, according to you. Huh? Huh. Don't I ain't I can't talk about everybody else, but don't put that on no nine point nine nine percent of men. Like because truth be told, <laughs> y'all don't y'all don't think y'all realize the power that y'all have. Y'all only utilize it when y'all want to and see fit. That's why I think because like okay. if y'all really knew what it take to like understand like understand a, a man in a sense, you might actually get somewhere further to be real instead of the standard procedure or the whatever you see fit. Mm-hmm. Now, when and you just, say we could get somewhere further, you mean like our end goal, like to be in that relationship with him, just him, to have that family, the the fake, fake ass it, white picket. Okay. The stuff that you're looking for, as far as like you know, seeing if that's where you, you're gonna end it at. Okay. But you got a lot of um, no limit soldiers out here these days. Y'all tough. Y'all thugs. Y'all are thugs. But do you understand are, why? Oh, listen, 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 listen. I get it in a sense. But like you would think by now a lot would get the picture because a lot of people are still in the same position. But you're okay with saying, I'm good, independent. No, that ain't the case. Something has to give and switch up. You tried it both ways. You gotta find some media in some way. Maybe the niggas ain't worth the squad and the female, like you know what I'm saying? Your mindset personally, but a lot of us are 25, 30, 30, whatever, and it still ain't click. I be looking at this Jasmine Sutherland girl. She was what scared of lion tigers of bears. She bust the windows out the car and now <laughs> she down with a more subtle mind because that ain't been working. Well, I want okay. Well, uh, look at Young Blue where he got the um, popular song "You Still Mine." Like he knew he fucked up. She moved on with a man that want to lock her down, good to her, and she was gonna marry him. And this fuck nigga gonna show up at the wedding. <laughs> Ain't gonna take her. Right what kind of bullshit is that? What you mean though? Because, because now, so now that she done moved on and she happy now. Hey, listen, I'm gonna be real though. He wanna he be like, oh you know what? I'm, I'm good now. Let's let's I'm get be, let's get I'm that old be, thing I'm back. Be real though. I'm gonna be real though. She if she went and go go, she wouldn't win. Period, man. Well, you know what? I'm a realistic woman, and you're absolutely correct. Because if she was done with that and done with him and she was happy, then she would have had security escort him out, you know. Thanks, but that's dude. not where her heart was at. Her heart was with him. And that happens. Oh, you know, that happens. I don't know who y'all are talking that's, that's, about. <laughs> you get it, though. Who is he got the song with Drake? Still mine. Listen, I don't know that song either. I had to realize, though, guess what, though? Young Blue's still like 23, 24 years old. Absolutely. And guess what? He's still trying to figure it out, man. A lot of a lot of people are, we, I, we all are. We all so, are. Yeah, but like it's more different and more sentimental when it comes to a woman. And like to know like you're dating however many dudes you dating, dating, because I have to ask now. I ain't even know. Y'all put me on some new job. I need to ask a girl, are you dating or are you dating exclusively? And yeah. are you dating? Are you dating? That is that like that's that really is true. A bunch of bull. Well, I mean, you don't even necessarily have to ask people that because I feel like when you're dating somebody, you're I feel like when it comes to casual and exclusively dating somebody, you don't just say, okay, um, go and say, I'm dating this person, I'm dating that person. I feel like when you're what's, seriously what's dating casual? somebody, it's not it's not five and six guys that you're talking to and all of that. When you're dating somebody, maybe you're talking to that one person and, and maybe it's one other person, maybe it's just two guys or something like that. But when you're just conversing with somebody, let's say like the example that you used from earlier, you gave, you walked in the club, gave Ashley your number, 30 minutes later, you walked down and you saw Courtney and you started talking to her. I'm not, Ashley shouldn't get upset with you because you're talking to Courtney because that doesn't mean, just because y'all exchange numbers and y'all are, or whatever, texting or whatever, that doesn't necessarily mean you're dating each other. I feel like you're only dating if you're going on a more serious level. And more nine times out of 10, if you're on that serious level, you're not talking to five and six and seven and all those amount of guys. You're only really talking to that one person or one other person. It's not like a whole five and six guys that you're talking to, like when people say that they're dating. Uh, this is how I look at it, though. 
men do look at women as a treasure or like something very sentimental because like if I know there's two, three, four people, other I ain't gonna say niggas, four other men in the place. That's not going to make me step up no type of pressure to be in no type of race or compete with nothing. It shouldn't. No just, I'm just saying that's that's like my mindset at the same time because I know like that's going to be the reflection the same thing a woman going to give you. They're not going to compete. Let a woman find out there's another woman in the play and you're trying to figure out which one you trying to choose. <laughs> Nigga, I'm going to make sure you choose the right one. Go pick her. <laughs> come to me that's not something you have to think about i'm not one you you should have to think about you know when it come to me a dude can't do that i feel like but you have to be at a certain point in dating to care about that though what? okay well let, how about this let's let's let's, let's, just, let's not say dating let's just say uh, yeah you're okay, talking, okay. hold on for one second. second hold on one for one second uh, okay we have posted in a, in a comment um because we, we got some comments going on but uh, a guy posted my friend Jeremy he posted he was like the first topic has revealed a bigger issue we can't even agree on what dating is <laughs> and I just want to say it, these are just words and I'm, I honestly like the definition of these words are going to be like that's why I don't really get tired of and saying okay I'm dating or doing this or doing whatever it is what it is but you know these definitions do vary just like your perspective on what it is of courtship dating like it probably is going to be different from person to person so yeah we ain't gonna come well, to no well, I, I have levels anyway. Like I have like the association, you know, that's where I think when you I, hey, I'm just saying <laughs> I have the association, like because you don't have a title yet. Like I don't know who you are. I'm still like, how many siblings do you have? Like where you from? Where you born or you plan on moving? Like that's the associate, that's just the talking, the the getting to know one another phase or whatever. Um, and then if it progresses from there, I think that's when you go into the the dating, you know. Um, and then you know you can go from there. The relationship. What, like, what do you want to be called? Do you want to be called Sean or Swamp? I'm confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you say you choose. Okay, well, Sean, I don't want to call you Swamp, but Sean, <laughs> when you okay, let's say you're talking to a woman or whatever. When do you like? How do you know you're dating her? Like, do you say, "Are we dating?" Or do you like, "Are you on a few dates?" And then you say you're dating. Cause maybe good. You're like, yeah, that's good. Where you're coming from because. Like we're talking about levels. Like when you first start dating someone, you're still getting to know them. Like my feelings are all the way there. I still don't know you yet to know if I even, you know, I know that I might want to see where this goes. That's as far as I know, but I don't know if, you know, I actually like you like that. So I'm trying to figure out what stage are you at when you say you're dating? Yeah, take us, take us through that. Like when you first meet somebody and you're interested in pursuing them or whatever the case may be, like what's your thought process as you're pursuing this person or going through whatever phase y'all are going through? Like, what's your approach to that? Um, if I see something I'm interested in, uh, I'll probably shoot my little shot or whatever. When we, uh, oh, you're getting real sensitive. <laughs> I, 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 I ain't want to miss nothing now. Damn, <laughs> I know damn, like, I'm not a man of a lot, a lot of words, to be told. And it might yeah. sound dumb, I'm more of a, like, Face to face person, like I cut up like with you, like type jump. But as far as just sitting there texting all and back, like I'll be done put the phone down or like doing what I do type jump. But um, it's just with me, like I want that that face to face jump first, and then like if I can vibe with you, and it comes naturally more than once. Now when I look at it like this, if I hit, if I'm willing to out of my day, my shit hit. If I'm if I'm willing to out of my day, be like, dang, I wonder if she ate. And like I'm <laughs> doing shit like that. We're both doing the shit back to each other. I holler at you, like, boy, we damn near dating, ain't it? Check your response. Like, all right, and I was like, okay. You know so when you date you somebody. Get to that point? I don't know, like a like. Let's say like let's say like you got you guys are also texting as well as having that face to face interaction every now and then. How long do you think that takes for you to get to the point where you're like, are we dating? I, I, to me, you're giving me the and you can correct me if I'm you're giving me the vibes of like she's supposed to already know instead of y'all actually 
like I because I think you making it fall on us women and you make it see like now you know if I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. Like God yeah. damn. And I'm the type of one where I you have to tell me. Yeah, you gotta tell I'm us. Not nothing. No, 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 listen. I did say the part where I said I'ma holler at you and be like, we damn near dating, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go off your response as I said the first time. Okay. We're gonna go from there. I'll be I'm of course I'm gonna get my answer then by throwing it up like that. Okay. And be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Establish it from there or whatever. You would know I just throw a little damn test out there every now and then, see where the water at. I really ain't one to pressurize it or force no type of label on nothing. I just like I cool out with it and let it let it form naturally, like I was saying. Okay. So during I have one last thing. So during this time though just because the whole things we we're discussing. So during that time where you saw that person, y'all connected, y'all met face to face and whatever y'all vibing out of doing whatever, are you, is that the only person that you're communicating with as far as like female wise or is it somebody else like, okay. Are there any more? I saw women? Ashley, I saw yeah. Ashley, she had a good vibe. We met face to face, we chilled, it was natural. Like is Ashley gonna be the only person that you're looking at at that moment and communicating with? Or you say, oh, but I saw, this other girl chick over here, you know, she got a nice little vibe too, you know, let me try this, let me see, you know, what she about, like, or is it you just focusing on that one person? Like, once I, once I, uh, come to you and holler at you about it, if I figure, like, we both gonna see what's up with each other, I'm lazy. I ain't got, like, when I do it the right, when I do it the right way, uh -huh. like, I, I ain't on my BS. When I do it the right way, I'm too lazy to, like, Janie, Ashley, this, that, and third, like, right, right. It, at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm lazy, so, like, and you I, know, I believe that, I believe that, I so think most of it, so I don't know, I don't know if I believe that, because, that's, that's what I'm saying, so saying I was gonna say, it. just because it, it seemed like when you led into that, it was like, only if I know she's serious, then cool, she, you know, I'll be the only one, but if, if I don't get that vibe from her, then, you know, I might turn, you know, and see what's up. Not that you're just automatically going to go and try to pursue another woman, but at the same time, it's just like, all right, well, maybe she ain't on what I'm on right now. We just chilling, we just vibing. And then you may end up like talking to somebody else. And I think one of the key things here is for both, you know, men and women to realize, I think like sometimes like we always say the same thing, but we're calling it something different. Right. You know, from uh -oh. a woman's perspective, uh -oh. Guess who? Guess who? Call it something else. Like, no, this is exclusive data. <laughs> I mean, we're technical. Well, are you glad that, that you're talking I'll, to us now? I'll, I'll, I'll hate that, that, but it's it's that's really what it is. Like, that's what I wanted to kind of bring out too. It's just like we we expect one thing and we say like this is the thing, and men say okay, this is the thing. And if you really just take off what the title we just called it or whatever the person else thinks. At the at the base of it, it's really the same thing. So I just I just want to point that out. Yeah, okay, I, so, agree. I agree. And and so the wrap this this first question up, which for Ooh, new that was people, a long first question for, for <laughs> new people who are for new people who are watching and just tuning in. The question was, what is dating? Are you dating with a purpose, an end goal of family, partnership, whatever it may lead to, or are you just bored and hungry? He asked you out, she asked you out, and he's like, fuck it. You know, so um, <laughs> I think the wrap the wrap it up. Listen, 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 listen. That's that's wrong. If you're cool with just going out. Oh with lord! Now I thought we was off that question. Oh, you coming right, with? <laughs> no, no. I mean, listen. Okay, right, well, basically, right. this this episode gonna be about this date. Now, what, 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 now, what was your comment? What was the comment? Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead, go so ahead. So I, I think what he was about to say, and you can elaborate, which was. It's not right to waste somebody's time. You know you're not in, which I just got, I, if you're watching, you know I just got off the phone with you. But uh, it's not right to uh, waste somebody's time and also waste yours at the same time just by, you know ain't nothing there, you know you're not interested, but it's a free meal, you know? It's a free trip, you know? Um, but you know, you don't have to entertain that. Like you don't have to entertain that. And that's why I want people to understand too, like, if if somebody is on a, a whole different vibe that you're on or they they moving in a way that you don't agree with, like you don't have to stay around and, and, and be a part of that. Like if somebody is you talking to somebody and you feel like they should be only talking to you, but they are they talking to other people and saying, Oh, if you don't do this, you don't do that, you don't have to stay and put up with that. You could just be like, Oh no, that ain't what I'm on. That ain't for me. Or uh, you know, cut that communication off right there and just move yeah. to the next person. Like you don't have to 
stick around or somebody says i expect for a guy to do this or i expect for the woman to do that that doesn't make it facts that just makes it that's what whitney thinks that's what ashley thinks that's what courtney thinks if i don't agree with that i know how to distance myself or if that's something that i don't want i'm not going to pursue it you know so i think sometimes it's just like you got to you got to know what you want out of a guy or a woman or out of a relationship or out of whatever interaction it is going on. Cause you don't just boom, pop up in a relationship. There's interactions that happen that get you to that point. So it's just like, if you, if you already know what you want and what you expect from the other person and what you can give to the other person, if they're not at that standard or they're not compatible with what you have going on, it's fine for you to step away from that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think I think he was saying, I, yeah, of course, most definitely. But I think he was saying, like, I think he's like shocked that us women are multi dating. Like, we're we're having multiple partners at the same time. Not saying you you're sexually involved with them, but it's just that he can't believe like you really talking to this this and this. And I said, you know, right. but it's a process of el- elimination, yeah, like what people were saying in the comment part. section. I just don't see how it's hard to comprehend that you can get to know different Process people. Of elimination. Process of elimination. A dude don't. You must be reading some of the comments. I have. I was. I, 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 people are saying process. Of, believe it or not, if you when you get time, women in the comment section currently right now are saying it's a process of elimination. So I think we should all be like, be like, why are women like this? Now? Like, and then, and then, but my yeah. my thing is my thing too, and I, I know we're trying to wrap up this first question, but my right. Thing I, is, I, no, no, go ahead. Yeah, my thing is too, like, you know, I understand where, where Sean is coming from. I don't even know what to call you. I don't know to call you Sean Swamp. I'm going to just say Swamp. <laughs> I get where you're coming from about, like, you know, just, you know, dating this person or, you know, talking to this person, talking to this one person. But my thing is, like, what do you do then? Like, if you don't expect people to get to know more than one person at a time, you feel like they should just, you feel like they should just focus on that person and just, you know, figure out what it is about this one person and until that person gives them something that you know reveals something about them that you don't like or you can't vibe with then that's when you should move on because i feel like uh, if you put I so did, much I focus did. on like this one person like how can you know what's out there if you always settle for the first guy that you come in contact with and the first guy that's like okay i want to pursue you and you may like them then where you go from there and then uh, the old people we grew up on the old people saying don't put all your eggs in one basket anyway go ahead swan look at it like this if that's gonna be the case, let it be an even playing field all the way around. I'm I'm trying to tell you, I'm willing to bet all of y'all. Like, if Whitney, if you see if, if you see me on a date with Ashley mm-hmm. yesterday, whether you was interested in me or not, that would stop you from letting me take you on a date tonight and engaging in dating with me. Also, a nigga can't do that. Date multiple girls at one time. A female ain't cool with that. We're not cool with it, but y'all like do. Talking to. <laughs> oh, oh, no, nah, nah, man. No, He's hold on now, cause, cause, cause you, I mean, it's you're not, not that you're talking to some people. That, there's gonna be th- a lot of things that you're not gonna do that you would actually do towards learning towards in the process of dating somebody and getting to know somebody. There's things that you're not gonna do for the fact that you know that he is talking to other women. You're gonna hold that part back. A lot of it. it's gonna be a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't argue with that. I mean, I don't think that for me, for me myself, I'm not going to get mad because I've been taught, talk- I'll talk to a guy here and I already know that um, it's not exclusive. Like you're dating other people and I'm not going to be mad if, I mean, I feel like when you're dating other people, you don't just be like, oh yeah, Swamp, yeah, I got another date with Christopher tomorrow and you know, he's going to take me out. Like that just, that, it doesn't go that way. But I know if we're not exclusive, then you're open and free to talk to other people. So in my mind, if we're not exclusive, then I have no quarrels with you dating other people. But y'all, I feel like it doesn't get to that. Exclusive huh? relationship? Y'all show sure exclusive ain't a relationship? You said what? Exclusive dating. Y'all show sure that ain't a relationship? Not necessarily. It's <laughs> okay, like, what, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if, if we already dating, <laughs> there's another level of dating? <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you are exclusive dating, that just means you're not dating anyone. Listen, else. listen, 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 listen. That sounds like BS to me as a man because you just playing with me. First, I got to date you. Then I got to go through the exclusive dating part. 
and hope we get to the rela- nah, y'all playing with Okay, me. well, how about this? The fuck, fuck it off. Fuck it off. How about this? You just, when you meet a person, be like, you, on that first night at the bar, when you came up to me and be like, look, I'm Swamp, I'm Sean, but they call me Swamp. <laughs> What's happening? You know, like, I, I ain't with the extra shit. I don't do the this, 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 this. When I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, and I will appreciate the same for you. At that moment, because I've had guys that gave me, I don't want to really call it an ultimatum, but they gave me a choice. They gave me a choice. And there were times where I went with that, where I didn't casually associate or talk to other guys or date other guys. And I just focused on that one person. But I will say that it's a whole lot easier. When that nigga fuck up, it's a whole lot easier to get over him and his bullshit when y'all already got somebody else lined up. I will say that. Not that that helps anything. Look multitasking that's going on bro that's why they know who your replacement is before the relationship is over okay because so i'm about to give you something else so let's let's wrap up this um <laughs> first one. but i just want to say uh, though, like, can i, I think for the exclusive no. go ahead, okay okay, okay i'm sorry y'all we got kiki okay, go ahead kiki okay so listening to everything i'm on my way for work so listening to everything it sounds like what it sounds like, and I can agree with a lot of stuff that the young man said. Um, but it sounds like a lot of people got the word dating and date and stuff mixed up. So you can set a date to go on a date, but are you dating? <laughs> Break it down, sister booty. <laughs> Girl, no, I, I hear I mean, she ain't broken down because swamp over there, like, what in the world? All he okay, but, but we gotta give her her time. Go ahead, go ahead, Miss Kiki. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. So if that's the thing, like, you can set a date to go out somewhere, but are you dating? So it just sounds like a lot of people kind of got the word dating and getting to know each other a little mixed up. Because if I'm not mistaken, dating is what like what the older folks would say. It's a courtship, and that's you trying to see if you want to be here and if you guys can go further. And it, so my thing is, it's according to what he said, if I can remember it correctly, y'all, yeah, excuse me, if I can remember it correctly, he does have a point that females do have a problem with a guy uh, going on multiple multiple dates with other females, and then we expect the feet, we expect the males to be okay that if we do it, but also at the same time, society labels us if we do something like that because they got the word dating and getting to know each other on a date mixed up. So I kind of think that's where like all our problems and misunderstanding is because I could go on a date, but that don't mean I'm dating you. That, uh, that don't mean that it's, uh, it's more than that. Yeah, I agree. And I just feel like overall with a, with a in that situation, a female... Females are gonna get upset. Like if I feel like a female is gonna get upset if you're dating around, she she'll get upset is if she felt like y'all were on a deeper exclusive. level than yeah. just casually. So when you're exclusively dating, like to me, exclusively dating, that's the relationship. So I, I agree with you right there. If I say I'm exclusively dating somebody, then that's a relationship. Like that's what I'm saying. But I just think like the only time I uh, well I can't say speak for anybody else. I would only feel some type of way if I knew that we were connecting with each other on a deeper level, like really getting close to exclusive and you tell me that you're mm-hmm. dating this person, this person, that person, like I might feel some type of way about it, but until we actually, you know, make it official, then whatever. She said, said not till we feel we getting close to exclusive. <laughs> Boy, All right, so, so basically we don't agree. <laughs> we, we On this dating, the first question, we don't agree. The way, the, the summary of it all is women date multiple men at the same time and we talk about it. We, we, we'll let a, let a person know. And he is saying he don't like that. He don't respect that. And women, y'all need to tighten up. Y'all, mm. y'all need to get it together. I don't like, like, like <laughs> man, never mind. No, go ahead, go ahead. This is what it's I, for. I, Teach us, I, enlighten us. I look at the junk like, all right, it is the man's job to find a woman. I get that. But if I'm looking for a, a new vehicle and I go to a car lot, I'm not going to look at something with five owners. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's too, look, when I go to the damn car lot, I'm looking for what I'm looking for. Like, and if the shit I'm looking for ain't, my bad, this shit got turned out. Y'all can still see me? Yeah, yeah. I can see you. 
My bad. If like when I go to the car, like the person already five people over there looking at that car. I ain't about to go over there and look at that car, bro. I, I'm just being real. It's five people over there already. Whether somebody buy that car or not, like I'm not about. It's not going to catch my attention. Whether that that could be the love of my life, I never know. That car ain't for me. It's five people over there right now with that car. You don't Whereas, know about those five more, people, but you do you look know. at more than one car though? Like, and yeah, you I'm might so, not look at that one car, but do and you and look even at more than five people are looking at it. You don't know if they gonna they credit gonna pass. You don't know if the credit score is right. You don't know if they got the, the down payment. Like, and that's where with us women, where we do the process of elimination. Like, like you said earlier, you was like, this guy got the conversation. This guy got the finances. This guy ain't got no kids. This guy got the education. This, you know, but. At the end of the day, if you really wanted that car, despite the fact that five people are looking at it, <laughs> despite <laughs> the fact that five people, this is where people, the way the old people be like, he don't even know, he don't know who looked at that car because even when he get on the car lot, I mean, I know this is just an analogy, but five even people. if you get on the car lot, you don't see nobody looking at that car, but you could have been 10 people that looked at that car all day. And, and test drove it. And, and it. test drove the and car. And got up in there. And right. test drove it. You, that's why you got to do your car facts. Five people, five people, five people. I'm gonna keep it moving. Now I know men, men that are watching it in the comment section. I know y'all can't agree with that because y'all done ran through plenty of cars. Oh. But again, I think I just think overall, like even though I know some people in the comments and I just think for Swamp too, like, it's just like, oh, you know, it's just so many levels of, of you know, dating or, or, or so that many levels of... That y'all get to put up there. We don't get to use them. No, I wouldn't say that you don't get to use them, but I think I think the thing about it also, too, is not even just when we're talking about dating, I think one of the problems is, too, men are not very vocal about what it is exactly that, that they want. They want. Woman is going to tell you, okay, this is how I expect this to go, or this is how, you know, this is my opinion on it, or this is how I think it should go, or this is, you know, what I think. It, it's, you know, a man, he'll just push it off, and, you know, it ain't this, it ain't that. He won't say nothing about it. Just like, how are we supposed to know things if you not vocal about it? You know, it is, I think it's just gotten to a point with, with men that they are now more open about even wanting love i feel like before it was all kind of like closed off you know as long as they can pr protect and provide you know even if they felt like okay i want more i want to be loved on i want to do this and i want to be that like men has have just started to become vocal about that like we we don't know exactly what you want or what to give you until you say something I'm gonna or say make this it known i wouldn't say just say something when you make it known i'm gonna say this as some advice and then we can go on to the, se the second question um sean uh, earlier you said you're not a man of many words, believe it or not. Um, you'll do the little text, whoop, whoop, and then that's what it maybe possibly going forward. Um, use that opportunity when you are getting to know a female. That's when the use the opportunity to use those words. Say it right in the day, because now I think from consensus as, as a group, you know that women are dating multiple men at the same time. So just say what it is like. That's when you use okay, your words. Two, Ashley. They ready oh, no. to switch. They are. That's why I say we got to move on to the second. Yeah, I ain't accepting that. You don't, and you don't have to. It's your life. All right. So, <laughs> no, no, for real. It's his life. Like, because it's certain shit that I ain't going to know either. But, um, okay. So, the second question uh, is the lock and key analogy. We're going to let Whitney um take that off. Go ahead with that because I, I don't know nothing about it. Okay. So, I, I put this question out there because... Again, I was watching Swamp Live one time. This was like recently. I think the live was about something else that was going on, but inside the live, he had mentioned something, and this is not the first time he mentioned it. He, in the live, this is what caught my attention because he was saying something. This is not like his exact words, but it was something along the lines. He was like, you, he was like, you see, men, we got this. We can just wipe it off. We can just wipe it down, and we'll be good. And women, y'all got this thing. You know, it's, it's, it, it, you know, things can go in here, get sped, and get this, this, and that. Everything can be, it can get affected. Y'all got blood, they bleeding, and all this other stuff. Like, all these other things that happen with women and their lady parts. And me and he just, like, just wipe it down. And that kind of brought me back to the whole lock and key analogy that people use a lot. I, not even people, I feel that men use a lot. And it's basically an analogy that's pretty much saying that, you know, women are like the locks, and we should only let certain keys get in there to master key. 
I was meaning one, one meaning one person. But guys, you know, they 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 the key. They can turn they can turn different locks, but it's only one lock that is gonna work for. That's that one good woman that is gonna work for. But you know, they can try and stick it in every other lock. So my thing is, I just wanted to know, like, do people like still think this way, or like, what's going on? The way that analogy came from. The lock and key analogy is something similar that I thought of, but I thought you meant something different. Wait, what did you think? So like it's 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 very similar, but I thought like this was like because you know how I'm kind of you know guys ain't shit. So I thought this is like what most guys think. So you know how you have a lock and a key. If a key opens many locks, it's a master key, right? That's it. And then if you know a lock opens to different keys, it's a shitty lock. <laughs> so I thought like it was like you know guys can be um, having sex all the time. They can they can they yeah they can sleep with multiple women, but That's women. Yeah. I took it like that's that's what it is that's what it is and i think that's what he was saying in there but i just wanted him to like clarify it and just like what what does that mean to you can you say oh, not what I mean. yeah that's that tell me what you mean when i was talking about that i was talking about like uh how we look at the joint because like there is a difference on how we look at it whether it's right or wrong it's not right for us it's a mutual fund. It's never like it's never right for us to cheat or anything like that. But mm -hmm. what I'm what I am gonna say is there is a difference. Um and when a woman cheat and when a man cheat. Like the difference is like dude can really like you got savage women out here, but I don't want to put that mindset on a lot of women. You got dudes that are that are hit something and walk right past it the next day. And not care about it. You're not gonna do that with my girl or my old lady. That's not gonna be something you just tag overnight or just off the strength of being in the same place. Same. Like it's no, you put up a foundation or something. And there is a difference because like a dude looks at his coon no, that's his coon no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's his special box. Women like it's different strokes for different folks. Different women take different things to please them and get off or whatever. whatever. You really got to learn a woman's body these days if you really want to get the best of your woman in a sense, dog, when it comes to sex. You got to learn a woman's body. So, like, when somebody else been in my box, man, <laughs> this is different. Like, <laughs> it, it is. Whether it's right or wrong, it's not right for a dude to cheat, but there is a difference. When somebody been in my box that, like I said, bleed, squirt, pee, cream, whatever it do, all that, like, it's a lot going with them all. When something melts is up and they tampering in they man, it's different. It's, there's a big difference. Yes, you have a Petey Bird that is a pole or whatever. You wipe it down or whatever, and that's just what it is. It's, you know what I'm saying? But, like, that cool is different. That's a box. That's a treasure box. Like, when somebody else is in that treasure box, that's a difference. And I'm not finna cuff something that don't, you know, treasure that treasure box. So if you got anywhere near that treasure box, that is a breach of security. My damn position that's secret is that it's that secret service coop. No. Like, like, <laughs> my my secret service. Secure. Yeah, my spot ain't secure no more. No, 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 no. Hell no. It's a difference. But you won't somebody who, who doesn't treasure their treasure box or whatever. But would you stick your key in that treasure box though? What treasure box? Like, okay, so you said that you wouldn't cuff someone who doesn't, you know, treasure their treasure box or whatever. Like, they're, they're just, you know, letting everyone in the treasure box. Yeah. But would you put your key in that same treasure box, even though you won't cuff it? I ain't put, I'm not about to, yeah, like, niggas hit stuff out here that they ain't about to cuff. They do that. Just hope you, like, ain't doing, like, this flat out raw dog everywhere. Where they got stuff called condoms these days. So, like, um, when you, uh, there's, you, you hit stuff that you ain't cuffing. So basically he's saying, yeah, but he just gonna, you know, wrap it up. Um, like, I'm just saying, that's, it, it's exclusive protection. Yeah. With his girl, he's not, she should not be so easily influenced by another pole. It's no, only his just, pole. No, you got it. You done built up something. Just popped up out the blue and, and got lucky. So basically, so basically, uh, if your girl cheat, the one that you put a title on, like she know what it is, ain't no extra shit, you one and done if you find out she cheated. 
I ain't no think. talking about it. Ain't no. Uh, I would at, this, so. at this phase in your life, you wanted to, like that's it. Ain't no we can't. You don't feel like y'all can talk about it and be like, well, maybe, maybe I have been gone too much. Maybe I did shut down. Maybe, what is it? You want it done? Or are you gonna try to work it out? I don't know. I can't even answer. Cause like I, I want to be logical and look at the things I've done okay. in certain shit, stuff like that. But I'm gonna be realistic and know like, okay. oh, there's been a security and it was actually an inside job. Hell no, it's time to evacuate the premises, but I can't say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Right, 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 right. All right, any more questions on that lock and key analogy? Do y'all have any questions for him? Um, any more explanation or we can move on to the third? That was a good clarification. I, I key, do you lock. have anything that you would like to add to the lock and key analogy? Uh, No, I don't. I didn't get to hear it all because my phone went out, but no, nah, I still don't have nothing for it though. All right, thank you. Um, moving on to the third. All right, so the ninety day rule. What? The ninety day rule. Are you waiting? Are you saying fuck that shit? No. Uh, days for what? You said what? What am I waiting ninety days for? Cause she don't know you. <laughs> okay, listen. You're not finna put no no limit on when I'm gonna get the cool no, maybe you don't know when you want to give it to me but you're not gonna say 90 days but what well, you I'm willing to within 90 days is that three months man no, it's been <laughs> three. <laughs> what the fuck yeah so, is it, so are we are we with okay uh Sean with this um this 90 day rule are we gonna use a car analogy as well like do you feel like you need to test drive it Listen, yes. Before the purchase? Yes. Since you're talking about dating, let me take it home for a couple of days and see how, how the motor work or whatever. <laughs> I, that, that, like that same day I take it home, I'm not going to take it on the back road that day and open it up. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm going to wait a little while and, you know, ride around the city with it and jump. Okay. Well, I like to take a mechanic with me when I go look for a car. But, um, <laughs> well, how y'all feel about it? What in the world? <laughs> You wait, so you want people, <laughs> you want the woman you're with to not be like messing with other dudes like that, but you don't want to wait to have sex, even though maybe in that three no, months. It, no, this is what I'm saying, sweetheart. What I'm saying is, you're not going to come into the situation knowing that you're not going to give me none for 90 days. Because, like, within that 90 days, I'm confident in myself the way that you are because you're going to present yourself and feel like I know I'm a cool vibe. I'm a good person woo, 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 on my end. If I feel the same way on my end, listen, something goes sparking fireworks within three months. You're not finna just play with me and say, no, this is what I, I'm not doing this because. No. So no, you saying no. let it happen organically. Let it happen naturally. Yeah, I'm I'm not it ain't gonna be no pressure like all right, time to give me some cool nah. No, that ain't I ain't on that type of time. But what I'm saying is you not gonna not give me some knowing you wanna give me some, but you can't because who Steve Harvey said so. <laughs> yeah, all right, that nigga got four wives or whatever. Okay, you call so you're saying even if like okay, so let's say she doesn't say like, oh, I'm gonna make you wait 90 days, but it does take 90 days, that's not a problem. If that's what happens naturally, but I doubt that. And like I doubt like, yeah, I doubt that. I'm gonna just be real. I doubt that within three months, the the it's gonna it's gonna be one of those. And you ain't gonna say it ain't because the damn 90 day mark ain't came yet. Well, I'll say this right here. Um I don't have um I don't have a a, a time limit of when we're gonna do that, but um I agree with the it happens naturally. But my thing is, I'm not, um, I ain't no funeral home. Therefore, I don't want that many dead bodies on me. And what I mean by dead bodies on me, I mean, like, during that process of us talking or getting to know each other, most of, most guys just fall off. So if I fuck him within, you know, a short amount of time, let's say, or the end of getting to know him process, and it, it ain't go nowhere, to me, that's a dead body. And like I said, I ain't no funeral home. So I ain't trying to, I don't want that many you know, and I'm like, damn, it ain't even, you know, it ain't even, 
you know, but yeah. I get why people are women rather because it's women that does this 90 day rule thing. You know, I mean, I know men have their own pop quizzes for women for us, but um, it's more of us women that have this 90 day rule. You know, um, I would like to see in the comment section, people that are watching women, uh, if you do abide by or at least attempted to do the 90 day rule, apply it at one any point of your life, drop a crown emoji or if you've never done the 90 day rule do the little x fuck that shit do the little x i think i think that's dated i think the 90 rule thing 90 day rule is kind of dated like i just feel like before you know you had a lot of women who were on that you know i'm gonna hold out for 30 days or i mean not 30 days 90 days or whatever the time frame i feel like they kind of lived by that before because you know i feel like they felt like you know I need to preserve something or like if this person really wants to pursue me then I need to preserve like the one thing that men they want they want sex so it's like I feel like women before felt like if I can preserve this one thing and don't give it to him for 90 days then somehow that's just going to make him like respect me more if I don't give it up or whatever the case may be but um I kind of just feel like you know like what he said like it's, if, if you're vibing like I don't think you should strain yourself or, or overthink it just because you're in your head you're thinking oh 90 days but also on the flip side of it I think too, like I don't know about anybody else but for me it's like if I'm really pursuing somebody even though if y'all vibing together and you are attracted to the person I feel like if it's on a on a different level like you may not you, you're not gonna want to just boom have sex with a person it's just like dang like I really like his mind like let me let that's yeah. what I'm attracted to right let me now. tell you something that shit turn me even, on like an yeah like I'm, I'm not even on like the sex part of it. it's just like I, I'm just so infatuated or I'm just so intrigued about the way this person is while I'm about their conversation about the things that they want they have going on like sometimes like you just not own that and I'm not saying 90 days will pass by, but you know, some time is going to happen before you like, dang. And, and sometimes I think in God's says like, dang, I don't want to mess it up with just having sex. Like if I'm really feeling this person, like I don't want to mess it up just, you know, having sex because I, I think more of this person than to only, or to, to rush sex. Like, I just think they, they I just think guys probably think that way. And, and also, and also, um, I think we're from the South. I, I do know, I see a lot of women using the X. So y'all basically was saying, fuck that shit. If I want that shit, I'm getting it. Which is fine. <laughs> Which is fine. A whole bunch of exes. Okay. Listen, a lot of exes. I don't think y'all will be mad after those 90 days that Petey Bird whack. Well, okay. So, I oh, mean, I, well, get that. I get that. I get that. I get that. I'm but asking, I, I'm asking. And then oh, I look at it. I'm like, I get what you're saying. Like, on the flip side of it, like, the dude gonna only get so much, I think. Yeah, because like he gonna be the one if it's the proper setup. Yeah, female up uh, about this, that, and the third. But a dude is is built to where these days he got to be the one that apply that pressure. One of those gift of returns is sex because dudes don't want too much, man. Time, right? You know what I'm saying? Sex and then want to feel like he the king, like he that man. That's all. Like you know what I'm saying? With within like. It ain't too much a dude want. Six yeah, y'all are very, y'all are very simple, very simple. I agree, I agree. but so calm. So. My thing is, I don't, I don't think the ninety rule is outdated. I don't go by it. I'm not gonna put a stamp on it. I just, for me, I just have to trust you. I have to believe what you, you know, what you tell me. Because I'm thinking beyond like, are you clean? Like, are you? If you are, you know, having sex with multiple people, like, can I trust you to say that you're not just fucking anything? You know what I mean? Like. I have to trust you at a certain point. If it happens to take 90 days, that's just what it is. I have to know you. That's just me. Yeah. But I, I think that's what that's what it is, Courtney. Like, not saying that people don't follow, like, that same aspect, but the, the aspect of putting a number on it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, we have to wait 90 days or we have to yeah. wait 30 days or whatever the case. It's a, it's a I, think, I think that's a difference. Than saying, I think what you're saying is kind of different. Like, you're just saying, like, you know, I personally have to trust you before it goes there. I don't think like you're, you might not I'm in your mind, that. you may be I'm saying, cool I don't, yeah, you might be that. saying, I, I ain't yeah. want to have, you know, I ain't want you to, I don't want to smash on the first date or whatever the case may be. Like, let me get to know you a little bit more, whatever the case may be. But you don't have like a number in your head saying, right, okay, right, 90 right. days. Let me, let me ask you this, Sean. Um, so how do you feel? Could you, uh, pursue a relationship a serious relationship <laughs> with with a female that did smash on the first night 
Is that someone? Is that some? Is that a female? Or you don't look at her like that. You don't look at her no different. Wait, what'd you say, Ashley? I was trying to read these comments and miss your question. If he would he pursue a relationship, a serious relationship with a female that he did smash on the first night? Like, could you? Oh, that's or, a good question. Because because that's what I think a lot of women preserve that because they don't want that image of like, yeah, no, I'm, no. you know, like they don't want that <laughs> that title. You talking about the first night of seeing each other? Yes, of uh, any type of interaction. Like, remember, you came up to the club, you get, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And then it had, you just text like, yo, this my number, this my real number, want no fake shit. And then she went, oh, what's good with you? Well, I'm, pull up, uh, uh, you know, and then it happened. Like, could you see yourself being like, I'm going to call her tomorrow and like, see what's her favorite color? Or is it, you going to call her tomorrow to see what that mouth do though? Like, could you take somebody serious that you smash within 24, 48 hours? No, I don't look at, ain't nothing special about me. So like, I'm going to figure that can happen again. I feel like that might be a routine or something like that. That ain't nobody I'm going to take serious. Okay. I don't think, like, I can't, I don't, ain't that special about me. So, like, that was just my looking up. They're jaded. Oh. Uh, <laughs> somebody said getting cut. Somebody said, um, they said, right. They said day 91 going to hit different when you wanted to give it up on day 32. <laughs> All right. Man. All right. Okay, so uh, I think basically uh, the question for those of you who just tuning in, uh, the third question was the 90 day rule. Are you waiting the 90 days? Or are you saying fuck that shit? And I think most of us all agree, um, fuck that shit. It's just more about the vibes and you getting to know that person. Like if you want to, then ain't no restrictions on it. Yeah. All right, so moving along to the fourth question, which is um, will thinking like a man leave you a single woman? For one, that's uh, impossible. For one, that's impossible. Two, yes. Okay, Lex. So first part of it is, what is thinking like a man? Where, where, where you protecting yourself? I think in general, don't this ain't the real, but just in general, it's just where we protecting ourselves. You know, got that invisible. You know, um, and I guess it can also be that uh, dating multiple people. You know, um, you know, just be like, I'm some gangster boo type. It, you know just be like you're not gonna play me i'm not here for that um it is what it is you know just the roles are reverse you know like where the guy was more like what's up with you you know but now women are like you know they're just as kisa would like to say manish you know full of crap okay. you are well, thinking like a man leave you a single one. <laughs> right. Go ahead, go ahead. So I'll start us off because you, you, I'm uh, telling you, 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 one, you, you already touched base on this. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and say it, say it on here right. too. Go ahead. There is no such thing as thinking like a man. You can't think like a man. You can try all you want, but really, you're just thinking like it's not. <laughs> it ain't even manly. <laughs> what is like? You, I was trying to put something on it, but you can't really think like a man. You're spinning around in a circle because y'all don't get it. You can't do that. I can't think like a woman. <laughs> it's not set up like that. And don't think y'all special enough to where you actually can do that. No, just because you're doing things that men do doesn't mean you can think like them or like be a man. What what if I was just gonna say, like pertaining to the question itself, would you rather change the question to having women? Well, hmm, if women have masculine ways, does that make them stay single? I'm is glad that you said that, Courtney, because that's why I asked what is thinking like a man. Because oh, to me, it. yeah, because to, to me, because to me, like with that question, I feel like I don't know. Have y'all probably not. Um, have y'all read Steve Harvey's book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man? I saw the movie. You saw the movie? Okay, so in the book, he is, I don't know if I have read the book or not. I think sometimes they probably just let the perspective, the, the title of it kind of like tell them what the book is about. But anyway, in the book, he gives the man's perspective on things and he's telling women 
He's telling women, this is the way guys think and you need to be aware. So I don't think, I, I, I agree with Swam. I don't think women think like men and men can think like women, but I also, th I think it's important for you to be aware. Um, you have to be aware of the other person. Like if I'm a, if I'm a, a woman, I need to, to know like how you think about things or how, how you're going to handle certain things. Like, I feel like that's just a, a part of being aware. I don't think that means like I have to think like a man or you have to think like a woman. But I also think when people say that they attribute certain characteristics to what it means to think like a man and think like a woman. And going back to this book that Steve Harvey has, most of the characteristics when people say think like a man, they mean you're rational, you're logical, you think with your brain. When you say think like a female, they think opposite. They think weak, uh -huh. they think you're off emotions, and they think that you're irrational. So to me, when you say those things, that's what you're telling me. You're telling me if I'm thinking like a man that I can't think rationally or I should think rationally. Who or, said? Uh, I'm saying this, that in, in this Steve, in Steve Harvey, book act like a lady think like a man Look, those Steve, are Steve Harvey is in jabroni Rudy Pumo listen no I, I'm I, no listen. This, this listen this is not wait, wait no because this, this is not about Steve Harvey let's let's take that out there that's not about Steve Harvey he mentions it in his book but I'm just saying when people say those things Yo, that's, that, so... that's that's what they're saying so but cl clarify me because again what what does it mean to think like a man like what do I have to do if I'm knowledgeable on 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 how I know you move, does that make me think, does that say I'm thinking like a man? Or if I say, oh, I, I'm going to protect my heart or do whatever, does that mean like I'm thinking like a man? Like, I don't know what it what it means to think like a man. So you're saying, I just want to be clear on what you're saying. You're saying basically people have like, if they think like a man, they're thinking of certain attributes that pertain to like, like what people see men should be thinking. Right, like. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I agree with you completely, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of women. Um, I, and I hate. Uh, we, wait, we, wait, 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 wait. Just because you know the pattern of a man, don't mean you're thinking like a man. That's you just right. know the, you know the pattern of that man that you dealing with, or whatever man that you're coming across. He's built up a pattern, and you've right. been able to study that. That's not thinking like a man. You just know. I can, like it, it could be you and him sitting back the other way, vice versa. It's not thinking like a man. It ain't about yeah. whether y'all rational or not or this, that, and third. It's the fact that a situation like that will be like, wow, I'm thinking like a man now because I know what you're about to do in this, that, and the third, and I know it. No, that's the pattern of that man. Right. That's not thinking like a man or knowing what a man do. And yes, you can put the mind frame, most niggas, dogs, or they'll do this, like, like all right, that's cool. But don't, mm -hmm. we can't categorize it at that with y'all because we know a lot of women that ain't worth a cuss or whatever so like don't think you're thinking like a man because we know what a lot of these ain't s women do you know what i'm saying so like absolutely just because i know that don't mean i'm thinking like a woman that's impossible that's yeah. why we screw up because like we ain't too smart at the same time but like we got the perfect we the power and the, the willpower and all the other things is what help us balance out the fact that the wits might not be there as much. Yeah, Y'all got that brain jump, but at the same time, that brain will overpower y'all. Y'all can sit and think on something long enough and that has become true. <laughs> you be like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So I, I think I, I, I got, I, I think I, I'm, I'm agreeing with what you said. So I, I, I think I get what you're saying. Like, just because you put the other other like if you're a man and you know a woman's like their past whether it's women you deal with or dealt with in the past just because you know that they some type of of profile they act a certain way you know the patterns that doesn't say you're thinking like a woman thinking like a man so you're basically just saying it's not possible like i'm a woman i think like a woman you're a man you think like a man you can't yeah. possibly be the other person and know what they thinking and know what's going on okay well I let's can, I can let's that. let's um, i can take that i can take that Let's spin that also um, with um, that's with the, the the thinking process. Let's let's talk about the actions as well. With um, a lot of 
alpha female alpha males we, and we talked about the strong independent black woman theory or whatever um men don't like that which I, they kind of don't like that you know um using me some transparency me i have a lot going on and so i was told to kind of like calm it down you know because i was told that well actually if you got this 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 then what the fuck a man supposed to do when he come to you you know and i was like i was like I thought that was a positive thing. Like I thought, you know, that that's a a good, good traits to have, you know. But couldn't have found out. They don't really care about that. They don't, you know, they don't really care for that. Care for what that you got your own stuff going on. Yeah, and you, like they don't. And then they want me to tone it down a little bit. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I agree that they don't like it. I think they. I think that guys appreciate a woman that's. So a woman is independent, yeah, independent. I think self-sufficient is a better word because I think when you say independent, they automatically think, well, as independent is like you're not dependent on your man, you don't need anybody. And but I feel like you can be self-sufficient and still need a guy for whatever. Like I don't feel sure. like if you're talking to somebody, I feel like you should be there for something. Like they should be bringing something to the relationship that you need and that you can't get anywhere else. I do feel that way, but I don't think that women should have to dim themselves down of what they have going on. I mean, if I if I was a guy bumming, I'm a woman, like I, I want you to have stuff going on. I want you to be about your think. business. I want you to do all these things. And I don't know about anybody else, but even when I'm when I've talked to guys in the past, like that's one thing that they they like. Like you got other stuff going on. Like you're not just sitting around, you're not just depending on whoever to take of you or you're not just you know just doing whatever you know I would think that you would want somebody to have their own stuff going on and you know you're just you could just be adding to I don't know I didn't know that that was like a turn off for people listen, or turn listen. off for guys if you like got your own stuff going on and that's not I was telling you that it never crossed your mind that he was just insecure with his own life I thought about that as well, but um, I, I thought I, I've had both. I have a mixture of both. I had guys where they wasn't where they wanted to be at that point in their life at that age. And then so when they met somebody like me, that's like at first doing the, the getting to know each other phase, that's like, oh, okay, okay. And then now that we, we, we like 30 days in, 60 days in, they be like, oh, you really was doing that shit. You really be on that shit. I'm like, the fuck you thought I was catfishing you or something? Like, you know. I don't, I don't, but I've, I've had those, the insecure guys. Then I've also had the guys where the barefoot and pregnant type shit, where they was like, okay, I appreciate you having that, but baby girl, you ain't got to do all that no more. Like when you, when you fuck with somebody like me and I'm like, hmm, because you know, growing up, you know, they'd be like, you can't, can't depend so on no we, man. Yeah. So we got yeah. a guy on here now, like, so Swamp, tell us like, what's your perspective on that? Like, you know, you getting to know somebody and you see a woman that's like, you know, like, sorry, I keep using you, Ashley, but Ashley, fine, she has, <laughs> she has a lot of things going on. Like she has businesses, like she's independent, self-sufficient. Like when it comes to like dating somebody like that, do you, do you welcome that in the female or? Or do I need do you, to tone it down? Yeah. Like does she need to tone it down or, I mean, not that I, I would say definitely you ain't turned if they if they want you to tone there's tone, some guys that just don't want that they don't but want, tell me tell me from a guy's perspective because they always say we don't hear from the guys we don't know what's going yeah, on yeah we got we like, got one any african-american or black <laughs> or like, i think to, to be real though like we're gonna find a way to turn that up because like truth be yeah. told yeah the the standard look of it is the man's supposed to get the money this that and third but when you let the woman manage it and she already bringing in a bag plus you like i'm never gonna stop nobody from pursuing their dream like i want you to be happy in what you're doing and if you flourish and that turned down for what like in a sense because like you were doing that before i met you so like i can't come in and be like hey what's up with it but you got to stop that right there and let me do this and that like no bro I ain't gonna handicap you. I wanted them, you know, be a bonus or ask the ability. So, would you feel evaluated if you're a woman? Is yeah. let's say oh. she, let's say she's making more money than you. I ain't she, gonna feel nothing. Huh? I ain't gonna feel nothing. It's gonna just like make me go harder. 
So what? So okay, I got that. So let me let me ask this then. So what's I don't know if this is the right question, but like, what's too independent? Like when you just say, "Oh well, she too independent. She don't. She got her own thing. I I ain't wanna. I ain't wanna be with her because she too. Independent. When I, when, like what does that mean? No, when a, when a dude tell you that, that's because you made him feel that way. But how though? I'm asking how how like, how would you make somebody feel like you're too independent? Um, your demeanor. Oh, well, it, it shows in a lot of women' demeanor and their conversation or they talk. A lot of women will remind you a lot that they don't, they want you. Like, that's not something that you got to have. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to, they, it's like a, a lot of women that got that bag and independent, they make it feel like it's cordial, not knowing that they're making it feel like. They they call it being real, I'm just being honest. Like, I don't need it, I'm, I'm good to go type junk. That already gonna make a man feel less when you constantly reminding him of that. Oh, yeah. when, you constantly, when you constantly remind him, remind him that, you know, she, when you remind, when you, she reminds you that she just wants you, she don't need you. In a sense, but it it could be with just the the attitude alone, because like, like I say, a lot of independent women let you know I'm independent. You're going to know that off the gate. Like, that's going to be within the conversation as an independent woman. She's going to shoot that out the gate. She's going to let you know, this is how I got to this point of being independent, carrying myself as such. This, 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 verbatim, verbatim. You know, this is what you sign up for when you come into this program, in a sense. They're not going to step out of the boundaries of what got them to that position of being independent. I'm going to say this right here, speaking a little bit, I've experienced a little bit of all of that. Um, when I do say the uh, let reminding him, letting him know that um, I don't need you. I, I don't need you, um, but you good for something. You know, th that's not me belittling him as a man or whatever. It's that's usually a, that's no, no, no. That's a reply to something that he said. Not nothing that I just brought up or anything. That's usually something that we're, we're conversing about. And that's just a reply of something that I said. You know, um, and I'm not saying it in a belitt belittling type of way because I, I I try not, do, I don't do that, you know, because I know even though men don't show emotions and stuff like that, like they low key real sick. Why would, why would you say that? Because we was talking about something like that. No, you I'm know, saying, come on, that was a reply. What kind of reply is that? I mean, that's usually, that's usually like in a back and forth type of thing, you know, uh, but I don't um, think, I don't think you should do that though. Like, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think you should be telling somebody. I don't think I should be on, if you with somebody. I'm not. I'm not gonna constantly tell you. Oh, you know. Well, I don't really. Need, you know, if we arguing or whatever the case may be, I'm not gonna be like. Well, I got my own stuff. I don't even need you anyway. Like you can just go. I'm like, gonna tell you when my, it when it happens. My house. This is my house. I'm this gonna tell you when it happens. It happens when I am called a gold digger, and I'm like, how the fuck am I a gold digger? And blah blah blah. That's when that shit start coming up. I'm like. How am I a gold digger? And I'm talking to you. <laughs> like it makes words mean things. Words yeah. mean things. Like it, it does. It, it doesn't make like the same way you were confused about this dating shit. Gold <laughs> digger shit confuses me. I'm like, how am I a gold digger? Like, bro, I got more than you. Like, I can help you get the way you want to be. You know, but you want to do it on. Okay, I'm gonna let you do it on your own. You know, but um, that's when that comes up stuff like that and I don't and I don't want to go there because I can literally say it in a nice sweet southern voice you know I'd be like well I mean I had this when I met you and then I'm growing as I'm with you you know um but yeah like that's when it comes up that's when that stuff happens when I'm labeled as like a gold digger I'm like how the fuck if I'm a well, gold you, digger then you're a broke nigga I think, and I hate to have to do that I, I hate to I think when you talk about like um belittling a man I think the communication comes into that too because I'm guilty of doing it but I didn't realize I was doing it until we, we finally had a conversation there were times in my last relationship where I was the breadwinner I was doing most of the stuff you know finger my name blah 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 and I wouldn't bring it up like in an argument or something like that but it would come up often I'm like my thing was like I'm not bragging about it. I'm not trying to throw it in your face, but don't act like it didn't happen. But apparently I was doing that a lot more than I thought I was. I didn't realize I was belittling him until we had that conversation. 
there and y'all both know what happened. So why are you telling me about it again? But see, it would come up like in conversation, like it wouldn't be like an argument per se. It would be more so like, you know how you, not an <laughs> argument, but you kind of, it's like you're a back replying, and forth. You're replying to a kind of Sorry, conversation. Right. So it would come up that way. But to me, that was my thing. I'm just telling you in this conversation, like, don't act like this didn't happen. But I honestly, I can see when we talked about it, I could see where he was coming from, where it felt like I was kind of thrown in his face or he felt belittled. I could see when he told that to me, but in the moment, I'm just telling my side of what's going on with the conversation. So yeah. I didn't realize it until he told me that. You're we not gonna mind, you're, and you're not gonna mind fuck me to make me feel like I'm guilt, like feeling guilty or belittling this man when he's a grown man and he's saying what he said to me as well. And I'm like, cause I don't, I don't come on that. Like I, I like I, the peace, the energy, the vibes. Like I'm real cool. I don't, I don't do all that extra shit. I'm the type where I'm working on that. I'm the type where. You know, I'm just like, we need a break. <laughs> like, I got to just say, let's, let's, let's take some time off, you know, like, you know, and then that's when it's looking like, I don't want this. I'm not fighting for this. No, I I, I want it, but I'm not going, you know, bro, I'm already overweight. You're not going to give me no stroke or no high blood pressure. Like, we're going to come back to this. We're going to revisit this in a couple of days. That's the way I'm at with it. I feel like people act like that as far as like the belittling thing and like trying to boss up on you. I feel like that happens often when, when one person is taking care of the other person. Like, Courtney, I know like the situation you just mentioned, like with your ex, like you were the breadwinner, you were doing most of all of the things. Like, I feel like those type of things are going to come up more often if you are essentially taking care of the other person and the other person not doing anything and you still trying to stick by and, you know, help them out and, and do all of these things and, you know, I feel like that that those type of conversations are going to come up more because you have somebody who's literally dependent on you. So, you know, it's almost like having a child. Like you have somebody who's dependent on you for um, their living. You have somebody that's dependent on you to, to, to get around. You have somebody that's dependent on you to keep them uplifted, to keep them supported, and to keep that, that cushion under them. And it's just like, at sometimes if you're in one of those situations where you're literally having to take care of somebody, you're going to get overwhelming and you're going to get frustrated and whenever you have a disagreement about things you're going to always bring up well I'm the one that always do things and I'm the one that's always doing this because you literally are the one that's taking care of this other person it's totally different when you have two people who are supporting each other if somebody's going to be on a different level than the other person somebody going to make more money somebody's going to be more whatever in this area I just feel like if you're literally having to take care of somebody, you're going to have more of those conversations. And I think that's why I, I, I know it's a lot of conversation about it now. You know, women, they get flat if they say they don't want struggle love no more. They want a guy to have this, 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 and this. And I feel like that's part of the reason why is just because if you are the person that's doing everything, then you're going to feel like you're in the relationship by yourself. If you don't have the person that's contributing what they're contributing, you're going to feel like you're in a relationship by yourself. So why would I want to feel like I'm in a relationship by myself when I can get with somebody who matches what I'm, what I'm doing? Like, you don't have to match as far as like exactly with, you know, we on the same level with money. We on the same level of, I, you know, support or whatever the case may be. Y'all going to be on different levels. But I feel like that's one of the reasons why, you know, we have these, 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 standards and I wouldn't even say standards or criteria just these things that we want when we are dating somebody and you know sometimes people just feel like oh well he you want him to have this or you want her to be doing this or you want her to do that like it's personal preference like you can't tell somebody their standards are too high just like if you feel like somebody's standards are too low like dang you like you got in a relationship with him and he don't even got no car he can't even do this he can't even do that. Like y'all don't know. He can't even like he don't even have a job. Like some people look in their head like your standards are too low. But on the other hand, if you say, well, I want you to have this, 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 then your standards are too high. But I feel like you have to have some type of level because it's, it's not somebody's going to always be pulling the more weight. Somebody's always pulling the weight and that gets burdensome. Like that, that, that right. creates a burden on somebody. Uh, Sean, um, where you at with it? Where you at at this point of your life? Um, these are just ex examples. People <laughs> that are watching, do not take offense to this. Where yeah, are you man. at in your dating life? Would you, are you 
Y'all, it's some funny stuff in the comments. I ain't mean to cut you off, Ashley, but it's some funny stuff. Are in the you comments. cashier? You would you date a cashier? You want somebody in the corporate world? You want an entrepreneur? Like, what's your next move? Or what? Not just your next person, but where are you at in your dating life? Do you have? Or it doesn't. In her title, it doesn't even matter what she do. Are you here for struggle love? Are you an advocate for struggle love? Yeah. Um. What does that mean? Like where a person's not, they don't really have a significant amount of income. Like, no, which, you, do you mind being a, a provider, like the sole provider? I just want to like, if I can vibe with you, we can work it out. Or if I feel, if like, like I said, I ain't got too many expectations these days. But just like, it's like, oh thing? no, I say that in a bad way though. I, I okay. say that in the, like, I don't come in it with this damn scroll or this checklist of everything I'm looking for and if it don't fit that then I ain't messing with it type John. The week of five and like that comes naturally and then like if I could feel like if I feel like I can I can go there with you I'm with it. It ain't too much that gonna break that up unless the motherfucker just give up or some shit like that. Right, right. But don't you give can up. have good vibes. You can have good vibes with people like I'm the type of person that I I mean not the I, I give off good vibes. Like I feel like when people are around me, like they can, they feel that. Even like when I'm around I guys, with, even through yeah. the computer, I feel it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like even if, like even if you're like conversing with somebody, and it can be just something as simple as a conversation, like they're gonna get good vibes. So right. to me, it even though like you're saying like you don't have a checklist in your mind, you already have some type of level or standard that you expect. I'm not going to say expect that you will want this woman to have. So it's, I think it's, to me, it just seems like it's you saying like you don't have a checklist and maybe you don't have like an actual list that you're going down, but you do have some type of, you got to have some type of rubric. You, you have some, you gotta have some, some preference. Like something is going on in your mind. Cause if she shows you one thing and you're like, nah, I ain't with that. You're not with that because of a reason. Like, oh, I don't like that because she's too aggressive. There you go right there. You don't like aggressive women, you know, or I, you know, she, I don't like the fact that, you know, she's not caring. She does one thing. You're just like, I don't like that. Why don't you like that? Because that's opposite of what you expect. So I think in your, you're, you're saying you don't have like these, you, you might not have a checklist, but there are things that you want that you expect or when you're dating some or when you're getting to know somebody. I ain't gonna really vibe with no person that ain't caring or that ain't nothing like I ain't go and I'm gonna read all of that. So I just feel like this right here, you can not be like, you could be an aggressive person, but if I see fit to where like I can deal with that or I feel like I can holler at you and we can work on that together or something like that. And like stuff is intact and I'm cool with it. That, that ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be no paycheck or what you making on that that's gonna make my decision whether I deal with you or not innocent. Like, I'm not going to just go get no, like, somebody that's just, con like, content with whatever or any damn thing or whatever. You got to be bought something, yes, that's a given. But, like, I ain't coming in there judgmental looking for just this right here and nothing less, in a sense. Like, because a lot of times we do have to, like, go a little bit lower than what we really out here looking for. Cause, like, it's messed up out here. It's hard. Women in me, so, like, you really got to be like in the mind frame of, sometimes I may have to settle for something a little bit under what I'm looking for or whatever the case may be and build it up to that because that's always possible. You got people out here that'll work with you. That's why if you can work with me, <clears throat> that's a lot right there. Yeah, somebody in the comments, um, DG actually um, put a comment that a lot of people are showing love to. He said that, um, he said, I'll date anybody. He said, a come up is always possible. The question is, does she want more or not? Nah? So he's basically saying that, you know, you could be in whatever situation that you're in, but the question is, do you want more? If you say, yeah, I want more out of life, like, yeah, this is my current situation, but I want to be in a better place, then he can see himself dating that person. They, I guess he's saying, like, they don't have to fit into whatever. As long uh, as you want more out of life, then he can, you know, he can find more. Where you at and just, like, cool with that as long as you want and more and reaching for better like do that yeah but i also want everybody to keep in mind like everybody has certain things that they just won't deal with like 
somebody mentioned in the comments, Jeremy, about non-negotiables, like non-negotiables or deal breakers for some people. I feel like, you know, people have those things, like so certain things they just will not put up with in a relationship. Like, I don't want that. Like, if you come in with that, I don't want it. So, I, I mean, it's all of it is preference wise, but I think the. Um, I think what DG said was was a pretty good response. Mm-hmm. It goes back to one of the episodes when we were talking about this, Ashley, because remember we were like, what, I don't remember what the question was, but it was something along the lines of like, what are requirements? Like, what would you not go for? Like, do you have a list and all that stuff like that? And I right, think right. one thing that you, me, and Kisa uh, had agreed on is like, you have to be shown. You know what I mean? It may not be exactly what you want, but if you're trying to get to a certain place, that you know and I have to see you actively trying to get to that place I think it's yeah. the same thing. yeah but that was that was when like in the dating phase like the, what the beginning to get to know phase when we was talking about I was like if you tell me that hypothetically um you want to open up because I don't know what it is about grass but a lot of men want a lawn care service I don't know what it is <laughs> I don't know what it is but anyway so when you tell me in the beginning, like, oh, I want to open up my lawn care service, I'm business orientated. So I'm like, I'm with it. So I'm like, okay, uh, 30 day goes, 60 day goes. And then if you start saving up something, I've also admitted transparency that I will match what you have. And then sometimes if you short a little bit, I'll add a little bit more because I'm showing the initiative, I'm supporting you, you know, or whatever. And I'm not the type that's going to throw it up in your face either, you know, um, but yeah, I, I think we all kind of agree that long as you you long as you showing that you want something out of life, that you're willing to give that person a chance. You know, not just like I when he was talking, when Sean was talking about you gotta dumb it down a little bit. Like you, you your list, remember my list was up here, and Courtney said that um I think what hinders me was I don't want to date outside my my race, like because I want a I'm black man, I want my chubby little I'm brown baby. That was just one of my things because I mean, me personally, I right, date outside your race. You're actively not trying to date outside your race. You're blocking yourself. That's just me thinking. But I do think your list is a little bit too big. I, I narrowed it down. I said a car, teeth, a hairline, and a oh, source of awesome. income. Not everybody got good hairline. Okay, but listen, well, though, listen, listen right? though, like in, in all of that, though. I just want people to know in all of all of those things of people like saying their preference, like, you know, even, you know, our, our viewers in the comments, like, as long as you want more, I can, I can get with that or whatever the case may be. Just know that everybody is going to have their preference on a type of person that they see themselves in a relationship with. It's not your job to tell somebody your preferences are wrong because that's that person's preferences. That's what they want. That's who they see themselves being with as a partner. So you can't tell somebody their, their thing is wrong. You as a, a woman or as a man trying to pursue that person, all you can do is say, I'm with it or I'm not. So it's like, if you with it, then you're going to go with it. If you're not with it, then that's just not the type of man for you. That's not the type of woman for you. And you're just going to move on. So it's like, no matter what you set your standards to, there's going to be somebody that fits that bill. You know, whether that takes what, however long to get there or you find it easily, it's going to be somebody that fits that bill, just like with a pen. You may have your own. Nine times out of ten, there's going to be at least one other person out there that's going to think the same thing that you think. So it's just like, you know, even if you have your standards, preferences, or whatever you, you want about a person that you want to be in a relationship with, somebody's out there going to fit the bill. All right. So um, that's pretty much a little bit too picky. I'm not saying she's wrong for it. She just picked. <laughs> everyone <laughs> tried to check on her all her check boxes, but he got a messed up hairline. She can't talk. To if you okay, if your hairline's struggling, then just cut that shit off. Just get a baldy. Like, but I want. But if you got a baldy, I need a beard. I need a beard. Y'all so silly. I'm just saying. But um, you know, but uh, Caucasian guys do try to talk to me, but I just. I don't know what to do. Like, I freeze. Like, it's like, I don't know if it's like a Trump supporter. Like, I don't know if they're trying to set me up or like just trying to get me over there. And t- like, I'd I be scared. So, you know, I, it's just, I just stay away from that. All right. So, that's wrapping up the fourth question, which was with thinking like a man, uh, leave you a single woman. Um, I'm just going to go and say yes because men don't like that. Uh, they want you to be feminine. They want you to be soft. They want you to be a woman, you know. All right, so going to the last question, which is um, 
can you outgrow or evolve your negative reputation? Now, what made me think of that question was I was listening to Pandora and the uh, Young Jeezy uh, song came on. And, uh, you know, he date that Asian lady. What's it? Jenny May? Jenny, Jenny May. My. My. I don't care about that. But um, <laughs> so the song was um, the one that he got with Lil Duval, but basically was saying like uh, people are going to her telling her, oh, he's still talking to women, blah, blah, blah. But he was like, they they come to you with that because they know not to come to me with that because like they know I'm with the shits. So I'm like, but I thought he changed. I thought he evolved because when he was up there with Gucci, he was like, we grown men, it's over with, da 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 blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, can people do that? Like, do people really, does your reputation for being a real nigga, is that always there even when you become like a family man, a corporate, you know, man? Like, is that still there? Can you outgrow your negative reputation? Yeah, it can. Um, you can outgrow it, but that don't mean people go forget it. Okay. And so you could be on a different type of time. Like, that may be the case, but sad to say, sometimes you have to remind them of where you came from, whether that's good or bad. And, like, a lot of people get that misconstrued because, like, oh, you done became soft or you ain't that no more or whatever. And like, you have to show them like, bro, let me remind you whether that's good or bad. And that's that comes more so to a man than a woman. No despair or whatever, because we're right, putting right, no right. order where you got to show that or show that ain't nothing changed in a sense. But like, when you really evolve and become that different level and you really out of that, it won't phase you much unless you know it's like a threat right there in front of your face you know what I'm saying? anything right. else ain't moving you to even act on it or give it attention but i think you can evolve from that it got to be like some wild junk i know you're gonna always look at a thief as a thief whether he ain't stole nothing in 10 years or not but like you know what i'm saying maybe he don't steal no more but you still have to deal with the fact that you know you don't steal no more but there's people out there that still gonna look at you as a thief as whether you act on it or not that's so true. Like, I feel like that was like the perfect answer. And I feel like that goes for not even just, you know, a guy's reputation is kind of being like whatever this street person or uh, whatever rep that he has. I think that goes for anything. Like you mentioned, like if you have a negative rep, like you can evolve from that. But just because you evolve, like some somebody always going to remind you of who, who you used to be or what you used to do. You know, you can be evolved and, you know, that ain't been your character in, in, in 10 years. You know, you don't even move. You don't even move with the same people. Like you ain't even in the same neighborhood no more. Like everything about you has changed. Like literally, right, right. they don't even know who you are anymore. Like they know they know Sean from high school. They know this person from in this era. Like they literally can look at you now. Yeah, they think they know you, but they have no idea of who you are because you evolved and changed so much. But I think you brought up a good point, you know, even still in your growing and evolving, you can do all those things, but that doesn't mean that everybody's going to accept the evolve you. You know, I feel like you have to be content yourself to know, like, that was my reputation before, or that's who I was before. That's not me now. And I'm walking into the new person that I am. That doesn't say everybody is going to accept you for the new person that you are. But I feel like that's just saying that me, myself, I know who I am and I know the, the person that I evolved into and that's what I'm going to step into and that's what I'm going to show. But it, 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 I feel like it's always going to be somebody who's going to want to bring you back or want to remind you like, oh yeah, you used to do this. Or even when it comes to like relationship, I shouldn't say relationship wise or, you know, males and females, you know, everybody, you know, I feel like you have to decide for yourself. It might be this person that you know has a negative rep, whether that's being in the streets, whether that's, um, you know, sleeping with other people, whatever the case may be, you may be like, you know, yeah, that's something I did. It was in my past. I'm not that person no more. But it's up to that person to decide like, okay, I, I'm, I'm trying to mess with this evolved person or like, nah, you know, I know she, she or he got his stuff together now, but I just can't get over what they did. Like, that's not saying that is right or wrong. That's just saying that they made a choice. They made a choice to either walk it with you or they just made a choice to distance themselves like that's up to right. them and I feel like as long as you content you good I, I, I agree uh, with Chastity Chastity said most of the time you get that reminder when you're doing positive things like you're doing better than them that's yeah. most definitely true 
that's a, you know that's so you, that's that. like when you evolve or not you know if you evolve when the reminders come up and they don't phase you no more in the sense and like those reminders are for you to take in a positive way and, and remind yourself like look how much i grew or where i didn't came from and like i look at i use that shit a lot because like the average the average female gonna be like that boy they a hoe or like that boy they didn't have some women or whatever and like mm. I would love to scream to the top of the hills, like I ain't on that type of time no more. My grown ass man, nah, now, like you know what I'm saying. I'm about to be thirty Friday, but like, yeah, you know, you, you said you know Friday. Happy yeah, early like, birthday! Yeah, happy early birthday. You know, right. like you evolve from that jump when you don't care to explain to every person that feels like you still on that same. Listen, yeah, I don't and you comment to strangers. To. I don't talk to strangers. Like when people comment under my shit on my it, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, when I. I don't, people be like, you script, you seen that? Baby, I don't reply to strangers. <laughs> I don't know you. So what you saying don't phase me. But you know, and people are also watching, they're watching to see how you respond. Because what yeah. they're going to do is pick and 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 so they can, they get a spark and they can say, oh yeah, I know he ain't changed. Look at him, look at him doing this. Like, oh, I know she ain't changed because they've been pushing your buttons just to make, just to, so they can make or see what they can see if the old person is gonna come out. They just that's, keep that's passing. when you block them. That's when you block their ass. I, that's but not, but not even like on no, but not even like on those social media type stuff. Like, oh, like um, in real life. Yeah, like just people that just want to do things just to taunt you. Like they, they want you to go back to the old person. Like they want you to prove. They want you to prove that you evolved. So they are gonna push every button they can push, and people are really looking at that. They're like, okay, let me see. Especially if you're the type of person who you know, may have had the reputation of being like, uh, I don't know, like a fighter or somebody that's all about drama or whatever the case may be. You'd be like, you know, I ain't about no drama no more. You know, I'm just, you know, on my positive stuff. Like somebody going to bring some drama to you. Somebody going to stir up the pot just to see. Let, let me see if she really bought this whole evolution and change stuff she's talking about. Listen, I, that's going to try to bring you back. People love a reaction. And just like you said, like they going to do that just to be like, just to not even necessarily get you to prove it, but to see it just come out. Like, I'm not on no drama. They're going to bring drama to you. As soon as you start to react, they're going to be like, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love, I I don't love it because it's negative, but I just love to see when people be like, when they are positive and then <laughs> they always do the, they be like, I don't know how to go lie because I don't know how to do this, but, and I'm like, oh my go. gosh, I hate when people do that. They I hate go. when they get on live and be like, oh, I'm like, what you do don't this. do, baby? What you don't do? Because you do that. You be on live. Like, or they be like, I don't even get on live. I'm like, I just seen you on live <laughs> last week talking about that thing. That's what you talking about. Okay, according to my notifications, you do go on live. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? But, um, I agree. Um, we, uh, uh, Sean, that was a great response. Um, as far as Whitney saying, like, uh, in Courtney about off the internet, like on some real life stuff, like I believe in the motto, don't let nobody trick you off the streets, you know, um, cause ain't nobody going to take care of your family, your people, like how you do. And, you know, um, motherfuckers are, are do some dumb shit to get you locked up. And then they'd be the first ones be like, hashtag free or real nigga. Like, <laughs> God, that shit burns me up. Because if you wanted your homeboy to be free, you would have held him back or not even, you know, but that's another topic which we're going to talk about, you know. But um, it was good. It was great. I want to say I, thank you, Sean. Yeah, Swamp. thank you. Um, Kiki is off the line, but she told me to let you know. Um, Tell Sean it was nice talking to him. I enjoy hearing his perspective and I'll holler at the rest of y'all later. Tell Facebook I said later, world. I don't know what she's become a diva, you guys. Um, she be on the flyer, but she don't be up here. You know, I'm gonna have to arrive. This, this, this was this was dope though. Like I, I'm really glad you were on here because I think that you gave voice to a lot of people. Like we do have guys that voice their opinion in the comments, but I feel like it was better for them to actually see a guy up here giving his perspective and. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people was vibing with your responses. Yes. And you know what, you know what, you guys, uh, guys male that are females, up here, male and females, guys that are up here, they were saying, I was reading y'all, some of y'all comments, y'all talking about, oh, y'all jumping him, y'all double teaming him. Uh, Who I think that? that, oh, trust me, you will it's see, gonna it. see. It's going to seem that way because you have three females and one guy. And I have an opinion. Ashley has an opinion. Courtney has an opinion. And we're all women. So and just we like, listen. like we listen to him. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like we're I mean we're women, so it's like we're 
thinking like women. You can't, I mean, we, our opinions may be similar, so it's going to appear that we're, I don't know. I wouldn't even say that. Like, I don't even feel like any of this was. No, it wasn't, it wasn't. But it, what it was, was that, uh, he made. At any point of this conversation, did you feel attacked? Yeah, because he made a face when I said that. I think he felt confused uh, or like he don't get that shit or what the fuck y'all talking about. What you felt about it? What you felt about it? What you felt about it, Swamp? There was times where like I was like, okay, there's something that women don't get. Then there was some times where I was like, okay, nah, that's just some women don't get that. That's just how I look at it. Look at it. Any situation, like I don't, it's all constructive criticism. We all learning because I feel like you, you never gonna learn a woman all the way or figure a woman out because she can't even figure herself out in a certain degree. So like, it's always an ongoing okay. that. But at the same time, like, I don't mind listening and being open about something. Like, it's just the process of a woman actually listening with the intent to listen. Right. And y'all, oh, y'all listening and all that. But you know, I appreciate y'all. Shout out to the whole platform and everything. And y'all got a good thing going here though. Appreciate it. Actually, somebody asked when the three on three gonna go. I guess he's saying three females. That is going that would be too wild. <laughs> yeah, too much and it would be too long. It yeah, would that would be we have to start one that question. Like, we would have to have one question. One question. And, right, right. Um, but uh this was great. This was amazing. Um, one of the things uh shook it up, which was um, you guys, I have been advertising like we want you here. We're just three women, well, four women that have opinions and questions and we want I, i'm welcoming men black men preferably uh come up here and uh let us know like we, we're open for conversation i want to talk about it like correct us if we're wrong or um enlighten us but we have i have a spot open for starting next for next sunday the 31st on up until february if you would like to come up here if you don't feel comfortable coming up here by yourself, you can grab a buddy, like fill up these squares on this uh this screen. Um, but I think I have a guy though for you, Ashley. I think I have perfect, a guy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But if you want to come up here, um, inbox me, and um, we can make it do what it do. Um, Sean, aka Swamp, we really appreciate you. I know this is a a conversation piece. People gonna agree, people not gonna agree, but the whole point of it is, is to spark some conversation. What I hope y'all walk away from this with is this dating, like talk about it, get an understanding, could be on the same page, like so I'm it just, won't be no women. Like, are you dating or exclusive? <laughs> right, right. You don't even have to ask like, that though. Oh God, like, <laughs> yeah, you really, yeah, you really, because if you dating. I'm good. <laughs> I know I'm good. It's <laughs> exclusive dating. Uh, maybe because you're just talking to one person, seeing where it go or whatever. It's like, mm -mm, I don't know about that one, girl. <laughs> but all right. Um, we're going to wrap yep. this up. Um, see y'all next Sunday. Um, thank you guys. Um, and I'll send y'all the info. If you if you want to come back up here, um, let us know if you got some, like, if you got some topics that you want to discuss and get women opinion about it, you're more than welcome more than welcome just reach out and then i'll uh, reach out to wit now you can reach out to me whichever but you're more than welcome to always come up here y'all have a good night bye you guys hey y'all why she go on his live and he's gonna be talking crazy <laughs> again he gonna go over here and dismiss everything we all talk about like no we just talked about this um my junk gonna be titled, Do We Got to Accept Their Terminology of Dating? Oh my God. But, but oh, it's your life. It's, it's your life, though. Know. It's your dating life. You do how you want to do. <laughs> but with, All right, man. But go back and All read right. the comments. A lot of women are saying they, they date multiple men at the same yeah, time. I bet, I bet. Uh, and some, no, some women say they don't like that because somebody said, I'm so shocked that y'all are dating multiple men. But again, I think that goes back because I feel, I feel like when people say dating, when people hear women are dating multiple men, they say, oh, they, they hey, sleep you know, sleeping with John, Tom. Let me ask y'all one question. Mm -hmm. So it's okay with that, that Lori girl doing? We, have, we just talked oh about that. Gosh, we, we just talked about that. that. Do y'all think What's it's okay? she doing? What's she doing? Yeah, let's what yeah. yeah. What I'm gonna, let, him, yeah, let him explain it first. Y'all let me know what y'all stand for that. No, no, go ahead. What is it? That is um, a bunch of bull. That's a bunch of bull. <laughs> what's she doing? 
she was in a relationship with somebody that she stopped talking to them and she was in a relationship with somebody else. So what? What she do? Is it okay? Yeah. Now, if you want to ask us the question about Lori, is it okay what Future does? Uh-uh, no. Go ahead. What Lori did? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What Lori did? If it's uh, okay what Lori did, it's okay what Future did. Is it okay with what Future do? It's different, though. That is a woman, man. You didn't talk about 10 bodies in the year just started. Okay, I ain't want no future. Look, look, I told bad, you. Call me back. Call me back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, she is screwing the man. Don't think that them are. Oh, you know she is. And it's yes, a, and no, I don't get blown up. If you get blown out, oh, you know something. that. You don't know that. You don't. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> And Ashley brought up something else too in the comment that same conversation that um when I you know when I was messaging you Ashley um you know super super sent she um has a bad rep too sometimes because she does the same thing like she'll start dating a guy and dating somebody else him. and they always they always say something negative about her but for some for whatever reason I know Lori has been like the golden child but super sent. Was doing this the same why. thing and getting so much negative backlash. This though. is why. This is why because Lori is low key with hers. Lori is classy. I don't want to call her a whore, but Lori is what men love, which is uh, classy in the streets, a freak in the sheets. That's what she is. Y'all don't know that. <laughs> Get out that woman's dog. Okay. Anyway, Courtney. So Super <laughs> Scent is different. Super Scent is. A hood chick. Like super scent is hood, super scent is ghetto, oh. super scent hop from dick to dick, even though we know Lori do it too. But Lori is classy where I'm just telling I'm just this ain't what I feel. That's I'm the perception of it. That's the perception. Yes, exactly, exactly. So whenever first off, like I said, with Michael, I didn't think he even I thought he, you know, I, I would have yeah. never assumed, yeah. you know. So for him, I think he feel like he caught a bad one because she uh, hey Sean, that's that's what I want to know. So I know you know it's the, the whole Lori thing has been been a conversation. So my question to you is: You talking to somebody? Let's say you've been talking to him for I don't know. Let's say eight months, and you thought you know everything was going good for whatever reason it don't work out. How long do you wait until you talk to somebody else or you pr pursue somebody else? Like seriously. Bitch, really? you ain't had nobody in the clique because you only talk with one woman at a time. Yeah, right. he ain't got nobody because he only just right. talking. Yeah, to he don't one. he don't do that. Right. He don't do the multi date. So what? So, so what? 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 What's the timeline? Because that that seems like what is what is going down to because it's like if you was talking to somebody for whatever reason it didn't work. So do, does that person like just not Let's, pursue anybody else? So what's the what's the timeline don't put, for you? Don't put no, I don't put no time. No, no exact time limit on it but I don't want it to be no body, like, you know, like, like no Bobby Smurda, she caught a body about a week ago, like type jump. Yeah. Like, come on, man, I just seen, listen. That's why I don't post it. Don't post, women don't post, you mean. And truth be told, these fellas ain't no lame dudes, man, at all in any way, form or fashion. What, is she talking to? Listen, the dudes that she, that she been dating lately, they ain't no lame yeah. dudes. Right, right. They're to that caliber to where you know why they allow her to per, like turn that camera around, kiss on them and all that. It ain't no publicity stunt or whatever. It's because like it ain't just been no, I like going to dinner with you. That coon noon is very good. I know she got some good snatch by how like the dudes don't mind doing it, but they think they the one. Meanwhile, ain't nothing long term about that girl, man. So you, uh, you you said something there. So are you saying the men, because she is a desired woman, you think that when she chooses, she's choosing them, they ain't choosing her. And when they, when she do grace them with her presence, uh, they feel like they gonna be the ones that lock her down. You could tell us after that coat known is applied. Okay. I'm gonna be real though. No, I'm, you I'm know, like, that's no, what I mean. That's what no, I mean. Cause she even got that evil look. Like, come here, Michael. Take this snap. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, and buddy, just come over there and kill. So, like, bro, she done laid that. What what, what their names is? Turtle and um. I don't know. God, God I forgot. The shade room posted that nickname. Yeah, they, they did. Had each other. Damn. But I just, I just feel like you know. I feel like if I don't know, everybody doesn't have a face, but. You know, I feel like let's say if like you go back there, there you mentioned it before. Like there was a time where it was just like if somebody would be like, okay, that that's how 
Tasha or Sean was from a while ago. Like that ain't how I am. Like I'm about to be 30. Like I ain't focusing on that right now. I feel like if you compare that to Lori and her state, I feel like it's the same thing. Like she, y'all, she probably not even thinking about, I don't, I don't know. She might not want anything long term right I now. Feel like, just- I, I feel like at some point you gotta you gotta cherish your temple. Like, how do you think the outside? I know it, it doesn't matter what people may think of you, but it should matter how people view you. They can thank you whatever you want to think, but you should view them a certain way. Look at how the average mindset probably look at that girl, man. Look how many niggas get near the temple, that sacred place. Y'all call it live best life, finding out and this, that, and, and girl, go with him, this, that. No, man, hell no. No, no. I, I, I personally That's, But you it. know, like, uh, another side of it, too, like, why you were speaking on that, it's just like, you know, like, just even when I was asking about, like, what's the time length as you talking to somebody, it doesn't work out before you start pursuing somebody else. Um, I just feel like, you know, dang, that, that thought just left my head. Well, I'll say this. I want to touch on when he said your body is a temple. Um, oh, that's what it was. I, I think I think possibly she do look at her body as a temple, but she's looking at it as a different perspective, possibly, because like you said, all the guys that she's been attached <laughs> to that we do know about, because I'm pretty sure there's more behind the scenes, you know, that haven't been posted. But she probably looking at it like, I'm not going to be fucking with no lame ass nigga. So, you know, she's like, proud like of he- the men. That she um that she has been um outed with or whatnot. Yeah, you know. And Swan um, was also saying like earlier, he was like, you know, you know, guys out here, they'll just hit whatever, like they're not interested in cuffing nothing, like they just want to hit, move on to the next person. And you know, when it comes to like even when you just mentioned, he just mentioned about, you know, it's your temple. Mm -hmm. Like, I just be wondering sometimes, like, even though guys say, you know, it's just different, you know, it's just different, you know, very different way out our goods our hour hour you know they put possession on that thing like i feel like guys don't realize like when when they cheat on other people it's just like dang he done stick his thing in whatever 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 and you're just supposed to be like oh well i ain't got no emotional connection i just i just hit i just yeah yeah. i I tell guys i'm like i don't want no use tying yeah but at the same time it's just like in my mind i'm always thinking like how do guys always want something so sacred but then they want to and then but then they want to enter it with something tainted like you already know even though you didn't want even though you didn't want even though you didn't want to be in a relationship like that ain't what you want like i just i just want to you know i just want to do me you know i just want to do whatever hit this hit that like i ain't really trying to vibe with nobody on that level but it's just like now that you know you get serious whatever like when you look at somebody you just mention it like you want somebody who who takes pride in their temple. You want somebody who keeps that sacred. But like, it's just like, I just feel like, like what they want something so sacred, but they don't mind tainting it because they've been with this person, that person. You don't mind tainting that, but you want this to keep sacred. This can't be sacred when you've been out sticking this thing and every other thing. When you enter that, that's no longer sacred. That that temple is, is, is tainted. So it's just like, you can't expect to have something so pure, but still, oh, do this, do that, you know, whatever. It wasn't that serious or whatever the case may be. It might not have been that serious, but that's just something oh. that always goes through my head when people say, oh, when I, I hear y'all talk about like too. their temple and that's something you should keep sacred. Like you should you should I, feel more about that, which I agree. Like you shouldn't let anybody listen, just, cause I, I feel like you just give off a lot of stuff. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. For one, just because my Petey Bird been in this temple that don't mean it's dirty because it done been in that temple. <laughs> okay, well, just because some entered the temple don't mean it's tainted. What you, t- what you, okay, t- what, what? Wait, wait, then on top of that, let me go back to Ashton. She talking about. <laughs> Man, it's the used tire shit. Used. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was the used tire shit. Well, I missed that. I heard her say used tire, but I didn't get what that was. You ain't because you talk the same thing what you saying about the temple and all this other stuff. So Look, you, you could have even called me the motor or something. You call me the, <laughs> use the reason tire. the reason why you are used tire is because we need it in order to get the way we're going. We're not spending, I'm not spending too oh, much on it. Yeah. I'm not spending too but much I, on I it. Just, but I just want to say I don't like, you know, I understand, you know, I don't really understand. I, I, I'm gonna take that. I do understand when guys like. Oh, you know, that that hurts if we, you know, you talking to somebody, not talking to somebody else, 
you would start having sex with somebody and you don't gave gave you your coon dude away, your box away, like that, that, like nah, I don't want it no more. But I feel like dang, like we feel the same way. Like we don't we don't want y'all to be out here fucking this person, that person, this person, that person, like that. That affects us as well. Like we feel like, well, dang, he could just be out there just doing it to anybody. Like he must don't think that much of my community if that's the case. Like as if you thought it was so sacred and you thought it was so this and so that, like you would treat it as such. No, you know, because good. you're not treating it as such, how can you even say like, oh, I view it as this sacred place if you already just feel I'm not, I'm not gonna give a pass to to things of that nature when it happens. Like if you just out of here slanging Peter Bird every way and then looking for, you know, like, you can't give a nigga a pass for that. That ain't cool. That ain't right. You know, it's from a fest. Do yeah. niggas, it is true, but, like, it's not right. But at the same think, time. I was gonna say, you know, Whitney, because I've heard the same guy say, like, you know, sacred, like, he wants something that has to be. They love to say something about sacred. At the same time, time said that that's y'all at, like, is. I got to wait 90 days for it. it better be the same. <laughs> Holy or something special. Better. <laughs> but I got to wait 90 days for it. For what? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Courtney. What you were saying, Courtney? I was saying the same guy who will say, like, I want to, you know, something sacred that not everyone's been in will, will be the same guy to also say pussy doesn't have a face, meaning he'll fucking. Mm. So that's. Well, I that's think that falls on us, though. That falls on us women. Like, I, I think that's when we take that time to, to decide whether or not if we gonna purchase uh, DG said refurbished we, re, we purchase and refurbished materials or we gonna purchase some brand new shit, you know um, it's, it's all up to you as the woman and it's up to the man whether or not he choose to pursue because like he was saying with his um, analogy earlier about going to the car lot and he see five people standing around five men standing around that car he just gonna be like, you know what? I'm, I'm cool on that. You know, um, that's just the same thing with us women. We may see you at the bar or whatever, and we see five women standing around you. We be like, you know, I'm cool on that. You know, it's it's all your personal choice and decision. You don't have to let him in the temple, and he ain't got to go in it. But you know, a lot. Well, I ain't, we 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 could talk about purchasing tickets to the temple. We could talk about uh, how you feel about that. You know. Uh, yeah, like women, women out here selling what you call it, coop new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, women selling tickets to, to, to see they coop new, like cash yeah. out, cash outs. The where you think the forty dollars shit come from? Like people are selling my, tickets. I can go to my browser and type in bubblebutts.com. Hey, listen, we talked about porn. I, I, I you know, I mean, we. Oh, I, I was definitely tuned out, so I don't even know what we talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about porn before. We we had a, a, a topic about. Remember when we was talking about um, is cheating? Uh, do you consider watching porn cheating? I yeah. gotta wait ninety days for something. You pay. You let people pay ten dollars to see. <laughs> Were you talking about porn on porn? Like on is a way of it. Like oh, I'm not because okay. remember what he's talking about basically having sex with a female. You know, um, some women are selling ass. You know, um, via Cash App. You know. But anyway, um, oily ebony. <laughs> what? Mm. Oily <laughs> <talking about ebony. laughs> but what anyway, um, <laughs> but anyway, so we we could go on and on. We have a lot to talk about, but um, against this uh, male and female stuff. Um, this episode ever. But if you would like to open up a platform, Sean, you know, uh. We're more than welcome to be special guests on your show. He ain't opening up no platform. That platform I mean, over there is, he is swamp. Is Look, when he's going it live, is, people it are is swamp territory. It is swamp territory. It ain't no special guests on that thing. I can't look. I told you remember when we was talking before. You was like, "Well, have y'all like talked about anything or like did you, like see your comments?" I said, "I can drop a comment. That thing ain't gonna be ready. Too many people." <laughs> also, you don't let people join your live. Yeah, it got to not not. No. I don't, uh, I, but it's his, it's his, it's him. He can do whatever he wants. Well, he can, yeah. But if I know you want to chime in or something like, <laughs> but, but I run the show over there. Absolutely. No, nah, I'm just joking. But like, no, I'm sorry. No, you do. He so, the yeah, director, right, that's true. the manager, <laughs> the, the lights, you know, camera action. Like, because it is, it is your area. Like, yeah, you know. 
you and you can tune in if you want to a one man band. Like, hey, I mean, it is what it is. You drop your comment if he read it, he read it. Y'all, he kind of, he kind of. Like, I can't say like I feel like he he was very respectful like during this this podcast because like I'm telling you like on his on his page on his live he be turning it up like even his whole demeanor he be like <laughs> I just be like. I, it's so different seeing him on live and just like like, like this in this atmosphere like having a, a having a regular conversation because it's just like like right now it's just like we're all just like conversing and we're all just talking but when he be on the live <laughs> that yeah. man be turned up <laughs> wow well y'all got me bent though <laughs> well i gotta go i got me too shit. y'all i got shit to do but um right. thanks thank you for being up here i appreciate all of y'all Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.